Hello, internet friends, and welcome to episode number 207 in a new place with a hopefully similar sounding audio with a somewhat new intro, kind of. It's just an updated, cleaned up version to work with the new branding update and whatnot. But my name is Adam K.K. Bay. I will, I will continue to be your host for this silly show on the internet called Final Boss TV. Today is the year end 2019 special. I am wearing my Florida man shirt with my little gray mane pupper pin. But today's show, I'm sitting down with two dorks that uh, maybe don't play WoW much. So why am I doing a show not about World of Warcraft? Hmm. I thought I only did World of Warcraft shows. Well, it's time to uh, at least slowly add in other things that aren't only World of Warcraft based. So that'll be the main topic of the show today, of course. We'll go over a whole bunch of things, talk about other games, but I would not be here, of course. I'm not gonna do a whole big, long, slew thing here at the beginning of the show. Thank you for all your support over the last many years doing this. The reason why I'm in a new room, a new studio with all this stuff all over the place is because of your support all this time allowing me to do this and improve and build up. I'm still on the old audio setup, so that's still one more thing that I'll, I'm sure something is going to break on the show today. We'll see. But a big shout out, of course, to Corsair and Elgato. There is a ton of their gear right here. A ton of the parts and pieces and bits and bobs of the new build is Corsair. I'm sitting around two, soon to be three key lights. There's a new green screen behind me. All this stuff from Elgato as well. So thank you very much to all their support for sponsoring and supporting the show. And if you want to do the same thing, then there are links down below the stream or there are links in YouTube where you can do just that. Get yourself some physical goodies from either Corsair or Elgato. Or, you know, Corsair for me and Elgato for my guests today, whatever. Or just don't use my links at all. Use theirs. It's fine, too. I'm not, I'm not too picky. But today's guests, the adorable Tom and Sonia, from Enrage Gaming, but uh, we're, we're just here basically to talk to Tom today. So there's, there he is. Hi, Tom. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So we're just, we are. we're just going to talk about, <laughs> we're talking about beard stuff today all day. And then maybe a little bit of Final Fantasy and some, uh, some World of Warcraft. It's about, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. I'm all for it. Which, good. Th yeah. We're having, we're having a moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're having a moment. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> My preface is beginning of the show that you guys are normally not sitting this close together. So does it feel weird that your yeah. weenuses are wrestling right now? Yeah, she keeps bumping into me it and I'm not weird. used to it. <laughs> it is really weird. But, I thought I'd like it because I'm like really needy, but I really don't like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah so Sonia's now here everybody too. knows. What? Now everyone knows why we have such a, a big desk. It's so that we can <laughs> not do this. <laughs> so you could be our friends, our friends who are also a couple streamer. They sit like this close, and I don't know how they can do it. They've done it for like longer than us. Oh really? I, I yeah. give them lots of props because I don't know how. I don't know. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, yeah, because you guys recently, which and congratulations, of course, are in order. Recently, just uh, purchased and moved into a hoose. Is this correct? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, we did. Very, very first house. We are officially homeowners. Yeah. So exciting. it's it's Who's... very it's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah, we're really happy here. Cause see, Lots I was looking. Yes, yeah, so you're talking about space. So this is your previous setup. I'm looking at here, Tom slaving away with your under key lighting, and this was is this a different <laughs> desk? Because it looks like you're close enough for the Weenus War. No, that's a different desk. It, oh, it looks is. at the angle. Yeah, you could yeah. fit a whole chair between there. Yeah, but then so look the new setup is is that just like four planks of wood? It's a little it's a little messy. It's so it's wow. uh yeah, it's three um pieces of barn wood that got yeah. uh repurposed. So it's like oh, wow. 300 pounds. It's really heavy. It's really yeah. heavy. <laughs> yeah. So we actually um 
when we moved, it was just me and my soon to be brother in law. Yeah. Or, yeah. Soon to be brother in law. And it was a mess <laughs> trying to carry this, just the two of us. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But congratulations, of course, on that. Uh, do you. I know you said your piece on your stream, and we'll have a little bit of this back and forth here, especially when I start getting the first little comment here. But I guess in the, the opening bants and shout outs and introductions here, uh, who who the heck are you two? What do you dabble in on the internet? And uh, the the button hook for that was, do you want to say anything to your your viewers out there either listening to this in the future on YouTube or audio only on the side of it for my show or whatnot, or just say overall, what it's been like to go on this journey with Twitch, your community, and where you are now. Yeah, Tom, who are we? We're we're two uh <laughs> I you know, I got I got nothing. We're we're two uh, nerdy people. I, I'm trying to think of the, the appropriate words, but yeah, we uh pretty much <laughs> we, we um we just sit here and joke around all day. And Honestly, that's, that's pretty what much we it. do, yeah. Like we started what, five years ago now almost? um and we started just to make friends and mm -hmm. it's turned into so much more than that because we never imagined we'd be where we are and our community would have grown as much as it has um so i know at the beginning of your your segment you said like uh you were tr dabbling in new things but tom and i played wow for a long time mm -hmm. so we can still contribute to the wow stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so yeah, but yeah, a couple streamer, not friends. We are married. Um, we um Actually, have been streaming together full time with the two of us on stream for almost five years. Yeah, funny enough, we um we actually started streaming. What was it? A month after, or a month before? For what? We got married. Oh, it was a month after. Yeah, literally exactly a month after we got married, we started streaming. Oh. So. Yeah. So. Everyone that's that's been with us since we started um, has literally been there the whole time we've been married. So <laughs> it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty it's crazy. True. What was the yeah. first game you guys streamed? Believe it or not, it was it was a game called Skyforge. Yes, which is another MMORPG. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was during beta though. Like I think I think that we were streaming it. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um. So we played Skyforge, and then we transitioned over to Counter Strike. Actually, yes. Oh gosh. But, uh, yeah, we we had to stop because Sonya was getting too salty. <laughs> I raged too much. Yeah, Tom's like, I can't play with you anymore. You're mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, sorry. Yeah, it's true. Hmm. It's yeah. true. So, but um, I then uh then I started doing Arena, and she was like, you can't PvP. Like, there's no more. Yeah. So yeah, it, I I felt it. I was, was like, so, you know what? Yep. I I get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And then it was um Counter Strike, and then we kind of just did a lot of um variety, but then sure. we sunk into WoW during Cata, and we yeah. like were full time WoW for cat from Cata. Like the I would say like the it was like the it was before the mid. It was like the beginning of Cata. Around then, yeah. Yeah, and then we we raided. We had a, a raid team. Um, from our our stream and stuff like that, and then we we were wow all the way until this time last year, December fifteenth, yeah. when yeah, we swapped to right, Final Fantasy. It was right before Desire Lore launched, mm -hmm. um, as like a full because I remember Desire Lore was in like on the PTR, yeah, but it didn't launch yet, and then we swapped over because yeah. I was actually looking for a raid team, um to uh, to go into Desire Loy. And then I think I remember this conversation on your stream is that you had it was the guild troubles and the tumultuous nature of that that sort of led to part of the decision. And this is like the first big discussion that we're gonna go through here. But you've been still, I mean, Cataclysm, I had to bring this up and dig into it because I know like everyone talks about, or at least they did before, like Wrath babies aren't real World of Warcraft players. I mean, Cataclysm came out in 2010. It's nine years ago. It's almost yeah. a decade. So I will emphasize that we played before that, but that's just when okay. we started streaming it. No, we didn't start streaming in Cata. What am I thinking? We started streaming in Warlords. Not Cata. <laughs> I had Cata on my head. Warlords. Yes. Yeah, Warlords. Warlords, yeah. Because we went through, I yeah, I remember. We went through uh, BlackRock mm -hmm. Foundry mm, with a later. full stream team. Yes. Cata's and then when we, we met. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, we we pieced it together, or like the the raid team and stuff, and then we went through like all the different tiers and got people their uh their moose mounts. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, when like the friendship moose stuff was going on, we were like doing our own thing on the side and stuff. So yeah, yeah. it was fun. Yeah. I man, I missed that stuff. That was yeah, fun. It was. <laughs> Yeah, now, but we met in Canada doing RBGs. Yeah. That's when this is a totally random follow-up question for when you met is was he wearing a hat back then too? Yes. Okay. Actually, it's almost <laughs> the exact same hat as that one. Oh, we okay. had to buy a new one that almost matched because the new, old one wore out. New model. Yeah. <laughs> and now we just got a new one for Christmas. We have to get a different size. So yeah. same hat, just a well, little different, barely yeah. different. Same color, though. <laughs> okay. Same color. Yeah, see, that's what Chad brought up, too. Hat, I thought it was part of his head. That's I was curious. I was just making sure. Yeah, if, if you take yeah. the hat off, there's, like, what a solar system under there, like, just a bunch of planets and sky oh. yeah. and stars. Yeah, like, you guys remember... Galaxy. You guys remember the, the collar from Men in Black? That's basically what's under my what head. What was that called? That was... Called Orion's belt. Orion, yeah, Tom has Orion's belt under his head. I'll, I'll follow you on that one. I was just thinking that it would be almost like another hat. Almost like the. Would, the... <laughs> I actually thought about doing that once. Yeah. I was like, okay, listen, we're going to do a goal and it's going to be just for Tom to take his hat off because everyone always comes in and asks him to take his hat off because mm -hmm. they want to make fun of him if he's bald, basically, you know, the, the common stuff. Yeah. So I wanted to do it and then there actually be another hat underneath. So like yeah. he took his hat off. <laughs> it's just another hat. Right, it's like it's like the old Chuck Norris joke. It ties back to World of Warcraft in some way, shape, or form. Where what's under Chuck Norris's beard? Another fist, right? It's that whole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yep. So yeah. what's under Tom's hat? Another hat. Just a smaller yeah. hat. Yeah, just yeah, a smaller one. Yeah. Exactly. So mm. we're off on the wholesome train right now, but I want to bring up the full of feels topic before we get too much into the weeds because we can't have a show with. Predominantly a World of Warcraft content creator and then previous World of Warcraft players that switched games because oh wow it's dead It's the worst thing ever, but before we get into the weeds. I got to bring up and ask so Over the year About a year ago, which I guess you corrected me on that It's about just about a year a little over a year ago now You two decided more or less to stop playing WoW modern and switch to play Final Fantasy 14 which, if you're living under a rock right now or haven't been paying attention, that's like the really big contending MMO to compare against World of Warcraft. It's Final Fantasy XIV and World of Warcraft. And in some ways, there are camps that say, well, WoW is so much lower than, than Final Fantasy and it's so much better and back and forth. Now it's like, oh, Classic brought WoW back to life and uh, WoW is over top. But anyway, so there has to be a story deep inside of all of that. I mean, Tom, like you preface it just a little bit. But sort of what was the the story of going from World of Warcraft and then that being part of your relationship at the time to both deciding to basically quit Cold Turkey and go Final Fantasy XIV? How did that MMO transition come about? So um, initially, like we had actually played Final Fantasy XIV since A Realm Reborn came out. Like the original, well, not the original, because there was 1.0 and then A Realm Reborn. Right. But when A Realm Reborn was in beta, we both got access and we played a little bit back then, but we didn't do anything outside of like just play on our own. And she played a lot off stream and I couldn't get into it outside of beta. Like I actually played A Realm Reborn up until like the first raid came out and then I something happened in WoW and it like, Brung, it brought me back. I think a raid came out or something. I can't remember the timeline. Mm -hmm. But I just stopped playing. I was like, all right, I'm 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 done. I'm going back to get my mounts and stuff like that. And uh, But she kept playing. So it's always kind of been there. It just wasn't a main focus. Um, she's played like all the Final Fantasies and stuff like that. And I was never really big into it. I just like MMOs a lot. So fast forward to about a year ago, um, like we said, we both tried to raid in BFA. Uh, what was the first year? Old year? Yes. Um, so we both tried to raid then um, with friends and stuff, nothing like serious. Um, and then we were like, you know what? Like we really, we have characters that are ready to raid and we pushed all this stuff. So let's try and get into a guild. And we trialed for like four different guilds. Yeah. 
um, within like a month period. And I, I don't know, it was just like really bad luck, but every mm. single guild we trialed for something went wrong. Yeah. Like one of them, the raid leader got like kicked from the, the guild randomly. Like we logged on one day and he got removed and then they just dissolved the team. And, and then the team was like, yo, none of us want to raid lead. Like that's not yeah. why we were here. And then the team just dissolved. So we tried to trial for another guild and something happened there. Um, I, I can't remember, but like all four of them, the teams just ended up splitting up and we were like, all right, like things were going great. <laughs> yeah, we really liked all the teams and the, and the guild themselves. They just kind of like just kept dissolving. People were quitting. They couldn't keep replacing people. And Tom so and I were just like at uh, at that point, um, I think Sonia had. She was like over it. She was like, I'm going to Final Fantasy. I want to mm -hmm. play this. And I was like, that's cool. You know, I'll, I'll come over and play with you. And then I, I swapped over and I was like, there's that little part of me that still wanted to raid because I just love raiding everything about it. And I was like, I'm going to try and manage both. I have, I'm like an altaholic. So I had like four characters. I was trying to like keep it end game level um, to get into the Zara lore and trial for guilds and play full time Final Fantasy. And then if, after like a week or two of doing that and try and find something that like fit a certain specific schedule that I was going for, I was like, this is too much for me. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I'm going to just dedicate all my time to Final Fantasy. I, I haven't got to end game yet in there, but I've played it. Um, so why don't we just push? And then we just made the decision. We were like, let's just push to get to see the end game stuff and see how we like it. Yeah. And then we got there and we were like, Oh my god, there's so much more to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and that's that's just kind of it. And then we've just kind of grown from there. There's also, oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, there's another, I think, contributing factor that made us like end up staying with Final Fantasy over WoW 2 is just like the community itself mm. was so much more there than WoW was for us. Like um more sociable. Um, and that's kind of like what Tom and I's stream is made up off of. It's not made up off the content. It's made up off of, or like the content we're doing in games specifically. It's more so about the social aspect. So that really was like, yeah, yeah. we really like this a lot more. Let's stay a little bit longer and see how we like it. Um, and then inevitably we just decided to stay forever. <laughs> there, yeah, pretty much. There, I mean, I've, I've lurked and had you guys on the side monitor when I was doing something here and there and then I poked my head in now and then too. And I think that's, uh, this is not, this is the same kind of comment that I give, you know, Nobble. And even though he's gotten better, right? Chad, if you've been following Nobble, Mr. Lore Master himself, he, he does raid quite more in World of Warcraft. He moves along. But that's sort of, in, in World of Warcraft, there's basically, I would say there's three prongs of if you're not, a filthy casual, right? You're either like super into the the rated PvP system, which you can have your chops there. You can have obviously you raid mythic raids and you you push mythic raid content in World of Warcraft, or you now more developing a little bit last expansion way more now is the onset of mythic plus. So you are like, do you push keys, bro? But <laughs> in in Final Fantasy, it's so true. I have seen first off Phaedron being ridiculous. Hold on. Don't Holy let, don't butts! Let him, don't let him sidetrack me. We gotta finish this <laughs> this train of thought here. We're on to you, Thadrian. You guys, you have had broadcasts and the segments that I've seen where you literally do nothing. At least from my eyes. I'm not, you're not running any dungeons. You're not doing any raids. You're not like grinding AP. I don't know what you're doing, but you're just hanging out in Final Fantasy. You'll do this for hours and that's the whole like broadcast that yeah that community aspect because if you want to compare and contrast what you guys you didn't used to be you weren't filthy casuals in world of warcraft you did do all the raving but mm -hmm. in final fantasy you don't push the highest tier of content in that game granted we th those house building bit, skills yeah. oh you did we were we were raiding yeah um mm -hmm. but we ended up taking a break from that um recently because our ra a lot of people were quitting and stuff like that so we took a break from raiding in final fantasy right now but we were we were pushing top content and stuff like that but we were doing it off stream um instead of on stream because honestly the final oh. fantasy community is more like i mean there you can do There's... that stuff but it seems like the vast majority of people are more interested in the social aspect than 
there's definitely so like there's a lot of people in final fantasy that are like really big into the raid thing mm -hmm. um just like the mythic raiders in wow right um but like you said the, the the mythic raiders in wow is pretty much or just raiding in general is really like the the main focus like yeah, there are oh, other sure. prongs but like that is the focus right like each tier the first question is like what like what are the how's the raid stuff like that like that's the main focus yeah. whereas like final fantasy a new patch comes out and it's like yo what housing item did they add yeah. like <laughs> what so different. like so, but Where there, can I get there are glam? people yeah what like what glam did they just randomly throw out there which is another <laughs> difference between like wow and and yeah, final yeah. fantasy is because there's no ptr mm, there's no oh. and like when they do patch notes you don't find out until like 10 minutes after the servers went down yeah they like no what data got money. added there's yeah. no day some they actually don't like that whatsoever people have gotten banned for it actually yeah oh, wow okay yeah because yeah, they they don't like people messing with their game files yeah. and stuff like that so um it's the the community is a lot different but like i thought i'd i thought that i wouldn't like it when i was doing rating but i actually love it um because things are just built they're designed different yeah right it's a different game same idea different game so um yeah i but like you said i will do streams where we literally just sit in front of the free company house look at butts yeah well yeah. Bree, Bree brought up how you guys would just go to the <laughs> club and twerk on each other yeah i've, I've seen the gifts <laughs> yeah yeah sonia sonia and uh, uh one of the other one of the other free company members um, designed an entire club in one of the houses so Wait. that's that's a thing yeah 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 we're actually getting ready to tear that down though <gasps> um, so we run a strip clubbing game for a while and people would come rp and stuff like that but we're actually gonna tear it down and make something new so no more strip club everyone's gonna be real sad what, what's replacing <laughs> the strip club what i don't it's you monster uh, we, it's... yeah me and one of our other housing decorators and our free company um have a really cool idea so it's a surprise and we're gonna be working on it nobody will be able to know because we're gonna have the doors closed until it's done oh. so <laughs> yeah well, a super strip club yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you bring so. you bring up that and that terminology for those that are more wow in the know might not know what this is so a free company what does having and keeping up to date with a free company even mean isn't it just a guild i have yes, your free company is, pulled yeah. up here 485 mm -hmm. active members there's mm -hmm. a couple of people <laughs> yeah it's almost cap actually yeah uh, i keep cap picking is, people like every other day to make people, so. cap is 512 oh wow okay yeah. so um we're we're pretty close mm -hmm. <laughs> um we we've actually run the free company for almost a year now mm -hmm. i think next month will be a year yeah yeah it's um, six or something like that yeah so it's it's a it's a good size free company it's very active actually it's one of the one of the more active free companies on the server yeah mm -hmm. um but like you said it, it is basically it's just a guild um sure the people can i just have like yeah, normal stuff that a guild does. You know what I mean? There's a free company it's chest. Just named They're something just like just, a guild yeah. bank. There's mm -hmm. uh, um, stuff like that. The main difference, I guess, is that there is, um, because there's housing, you can have a free company house. Yeah. So it's like a meeting point for everybody. Yep. Yeah, your address is actually on here. Um, can I ask who named the estate the Nut Shack? <laughs> Sonia, I'm surprised you have to ask that, actually. I mean... Wait, I don't even remember what I wrote. <laughs> welcome to the Nut Shack. So, Everyone is welcome to relax and hang out. That's all it says. Yeah, hang hang out. It's the Nut Shack. Yeah, hang out, hang at, out. at the Nut Shack. <clears throat> okay. I can't. I can't. Uh-huh. Um, so... Dumb. That that's that is a it is also apparently a play on words because of the the free company name. Yeah, apparently the word sack is banned. So I was like, because I was gonna name it the nut sack. Sure. I name like it that. The word sack is banned. I don't know understand why. It, it so one letter. So Thankfully. we had to name it the nut shack. 
Well, but I mean, your your free company's name is just Kupo Fam, and that's that's wholesome. That's just a Moogle. That's the noise they make. I'm sure there's yeah. way more. Is is Kupo kind of to me is like the word Groot. Like I am Groot can be a whole alphabet, you know, vernacular terminology thing. So Kupo is used a lot mm -hmm. of that way in in the, the Moogle community, I guess potentially. But I mean, your guild name is just Fam F A M. So I mean, what mm -hmm. what where I don't. I guess I'm not. Isn't 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 that like a currency that their their rep uses? Nuts. Yeah, yeah Kupo nuts. Ah, that's there their it currency. Is. Yeah. They're, yeah. So when you do the Moogle rep, they actually gain um, Kupo nuts, and you turn it in. Okay. Things. Yeah. Pretty sure so that's what it is. Yeah. That that that's her reasoning to to be allowed to name it that. Sure. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I'll accept it. That's fine. I'm gonna, that, that's okay. I didn't know. The real question now comes down to is is everyone, can you see those the, that information in the game? Do people go to the estate, go to the free company yeah. house knowing that it's called that? Or did yeah. you just alert people now that, oh, it's that's what it's called? No, no. They, so each house has a placard outside the house. When you yeah. click on it, that's what it says. Yes, yeah, so it's the okay. name, the leader. The, so, yeah. <laughs> so they know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apparently, some people don't know because Fable said, "Will you live in a nut shack?" Yeah, see, I'm never going back there again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So, so then, yeah. well, okay, we'll we'll start with getting into some of the weeds, content differences between the two games a little bit here, because you just they brought up the biggest one is the social aspect, right? And that's the one thing mm -hmm. I've watched before, and I, I've I've asked Sonny this before on stream. The way you can model your characters, the way you can customize your character, the way you can stand around and do emotes that aren't just like a, it plays once and it stops and it plays once and it stops. You can have different stances mm -hmm. and do different things with your character that really you can, can... We didn't find out until like a little ways in, but you can actually like overlap emotes too. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh. If you, if you hit them fast enough and basically make uh -oh. a new emote by doing that yeah yeah that's there's a lot of people that do that um actually she i see her in chat our zebra is yes. um in our free company and um, i feel like almost every time i log on she's doing something different and it's because she's like hit, just messed around with different emotes and like made new ones yeah, really? or combine them with somebody else like you could stand next to somebody and combine an emote with somebody and it looks like something else yeah so it's it's crazy yeah, I just sent you a link. Um, we did an event recently for Christmas. Um, we do try to do an event for every holiday. So we do want, we did one for Thanksgiving, we did one for Halloween, and we try to like um, broadcast across like all of the servers and stuff like that, so mm -hmm. that people can all come and stuff. Because um, they actually implemented something really cool um, in Final Fantasy with this expansion, and it's called server. Um, well, it's like our whole data center can visit other servers. So you just teleport to the other server. So if, let's say you're on, uh, ser yeah, you're on Balmung. You can actually go to an Aetherite, and you can click the Aetherite, and then you can actually hop to Coral server, which is our server. So people can actually come over and hang out with us, even hmm. though we're on different servers, um, which is really fun. Um, but we just did a Christmas event, um, yeah, okay. and over 150 people came. Um, and yeah, it was really crazy. Um, and Tom dressed up like Santa and I dressed up like Mrs. Claus and people were able to come. They brought a present for somebody else and two people walked up and they traded each other a gift. And then after they traded each other a random gift, they walked up and they also both got a present from Santa. Um, so Tom and I gave out, gosh, I don't even know what the equivalent would be in WoW. Um, but we gave out over a hundred million gil in, um, items, which is a lot like a lot it's yeah it's that's a decent chunk even in WoW, even yeah. in wow yeah like so a lot so it was really fun though people lined up which you don't ever see in games it um, was it, no joke it took about three hours ish yeah to go through every single person yeah it was crazy and then there was one person left there was an uneven amount of number of people and one person left he was so sad he was like i want to trade a present with somebody it was all sad so then one of the uh, officers stood up and actually went up and traded with him and did the event so nobody missed out it was people behaving i know it's really strange <laughs> yeah yeah so it was a lot of fun we decorated the whole thing ourselves and 
Um, me and our other main housing uh, or decorator in the free company decorated it together, and it's just really great. It was, it was a lot of fun. Look at the photos right now. Yeah, the line the line went down the stairs and back up the stairs around it, and that's what the, the yeah. Yeah, every time yeah. we thought the line was like dwindling down, more people would show up, and then the line would go again. It was, and it was crazy. it was, was crazy because, like Sonia said, there were people from other servers. That wasn't just our server. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, there was a bunch of free company members, other free companies or other guilds. Mm -hmm. Um, people like I said, people from other servers. It yeah. was awesome. It was. It was a lot of fun. All of our officers race swapped too, so they were all Lala, so They dressed up as elves to guide people through and stuff. It was. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, that's Tom. Up yeah. There. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. It was buff Santa. Either you got a present or snapped your neck with his arms. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> the hug of death. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's 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 what we're going for. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so this I mean, it's it's the way the game architecture works where right? I'll go back to the line if you missed the first one because it goes down the stairs and all the way back yeah. up the stairs. Oh, I guess it's two. Is it maybe it's two lines going? Yeah, we had two entrances. We two two entrances. people enter to trade each other a gift. So Yeah. But it did go out um, throughout like the rest of the house too. Yeah, it so. was like a long line. That was just the start of the stairwell. Yeah. Oh, there's even more. There's, there's still more photos. I'm looking through your, your gallery here. <laughs> There's, yeah, there's our zebra ton. took all of these actually. So oh. they turned out really nice. Yeah. But here, this is the this little side comment here oh, is that there there's something so intrinsically different between a game that has I would say that would you agree that Final Fantasy fourteen has like just enough sandboxy elements where you can mm -hmm. create Yeah your own content. You can do this yes. with your friends and do this with your free company in this case, or your guilds and whatnot. Whereas World of Warcraft is very much that it's always the term we use and some people like it or hate it that you wow is a theme park. There are rides, you ride them until you're done with that ride and then you get off the <laughs> ride. And Blizzard yeah. sort of puts you in queue to ride these rides. And that's mm -hmm. the rides you ride as you go and that's all you do, right? Whereas yeah. it seems like if you go to and compare it to Final Fantasy XIV, at least from my outside looking at it, I've never played the game. So all this stuff to me is why I want to talk more about this. And the next topic we're going to get into is going to be a little bit icky sticky. But is where where is the difference and what can WoW do? Because it's not just player housing, right? It's not just that aspect of it. Because we had player housing in warlords kind of and there was some socially aspect stuff like that where you do like the you do the i did a lot of the assaults or the defense activities you could do in the garrisons and you would like go out and farm and, and try to get your your garrison assaults or invasions proc and you come back and you do your raids and your guy had a couple of videos on those well that's neat but that's still just like ads come in and you kill the ads and then you get loot there's I nothing like, really uh... I feel like they had really good ideas, but then, so like, for instance, in Final Fantasy, they've come up with these things. So things have slowly been implemented. They just didn't all just come at once. So oh, like sure. gardening, for instance, you know, became a thing and they realized people really liked it. So they continued to make it better and continued to bring it back with every expansion. Um, I think WoW has had some really good ideas that would be very um, beneficial to the social aspect of the game, but they decided to cut it out. For instance, gardening was a thing in Mist. And people actually really enjoyed it. A lot of people did. Mm -hmm. um, some people really hated it because it was like something you had to tend to every day. But there, it's the same thing in Final Fantasy. Some people don't like it. Some people do. But like, it was something that they could have continued to work on and add it, add to more expansions um, and make it better. You know that, and they just didn't do that. They just were like, okay, that's that's enough. You know, like as a as a big rep person, yeah, um, I loved the Taylor stuff mm -hmm. in Mop. I like. I love the idea of actually seeing like the growth that you were doing. Yeah. Like, and you could go and do the quests, and then you'd see like the item on your little farm, right? Yeah. I thought that was amazing. Um, and then once you finished it, then you had the rep with all the farmers too. So yeah. like Final Fantasy is actually very similar. They have things that you slowly build, like the the beast tribes, which is the equivalent of like 
if you have like daily rep grinds yeah. and stuff like that in WoW. Um, are the same way when as you progress and do different things and hit like your next rep, it builds up the little beast drive area. It's the same thing. You see what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and then the housing is very similar. You can get items from bosses and then craft them into an, a housing item or craft them into a weapon mm -hmm. or whatever. And then that doesn't just have the effect, like say you do the weapon, for example. That doesn't just have the effect of, oh, cool, now you have a cool weapon that might be good or might just be a glamour or transmog, same thing. Yeah. Um, but now you can also gift that to people. Mm -hmm. And now other people can just buy it and give it to people. Yeah. And like it adds, it's not just a weapon now. It's, it adds a whole different element on top of that, like for the social aspect. Like we constantly, that's the big thing we do is we constantly buy weapons and give them to people or people have given them to us yeah um some people just i i just gave a weapon to our zebra actually um not too long ago yeah um and the fact that we were able to do that or farm it was amazing you know um but as far as wow goes i i think sonya's right like they they released a lot of really good ideas but then just kind of left it there i mean like garrisons a lot of people complained about garrisons stuff like that but they could have built off of that and made it better like there were a lot of really good aspects about garrisons being able to like customize them or during halloween like you could put your own little decorations in there and stuff like that like there were some really things that that could have been done um and that they could have built off of i mean player housing doesn't fix everything but it does give everyone a hub to uh go to to right. like a meeting place because like for instance like we could all hang out in a city in Final Fantasy, which we used to before we started the free company. But like it makes it easier to make friends within your own community when you have a specific place that you can go to to meet people. Yeah. Um, so player housing is a huge thing when it comes to social stuff. So we've learned. Um, so they could have they could have built off garrisons, but they're just like, Nip. you know, like there's so much that they could have done. It's one of the prevailing commentary feedback pieces that I give and then a couple of other wow content creators that also echo this is that bl the Blizzard dev team definitely make new ideas every expansion but they just wipe away past ideas and just leave it alone they just they they make something new for an entire two years and then the next two year period of the next expansion they just forget all the crap they just made the only thing that's, 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 that's the the mission table has stayed, but you know it's got it's like it's gotten smaller and smaller and smaller, <laughs> yeah. but it's still there. Yeah. But they don't they don't make something like you use Tillers, for example. They don't or the garrison, right? And they didn't expound upon it or iterate. They just on the whiteboard they were like, nah. And they just <laughs> yeah. they moved on. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's um unsung in your chat said um the like the order halls as well um oh, also true another, yeah perfect example i i loved the I, I was so excited when those were a thing yeah. i yeah. loved going there as even even as a mythic grader or not as a mythic grader i love going there and like seeing other people because it brought back the social aspect of like for for me anyways again this is just our opinion um of like old school playing like even in wrath i still remember there was a war my server i remember seeing him every day in dalaran with shadow Morn, and that was the coolest thing to me like i loved seeing this dude run around never talked to him right but like just knowing he was on our server and knowing there were like these good players and stuff like that and just seeing it and playing with these people was awesome yeah you know what i mean um and order halls kind of had that effect because it wasn't as locked off as garrisons but like you said, they just kind of moved on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with them anymore. <laughs> yeah, it seems more focused on like just raiding and uh, PVE content than the social aspect anymore. And I think that, honestly, I I think that MMORPGs are like a dying breed right now. Like we really need something to like spice it back up to get people interested in it again or them again. And um, I think that there's a lot of people that are looking for that social aspect. We there it was there in WoW at one point. But I could literally the whole time I played BFA and Legion, I could log on and never speak to a single person and still raid and 
like I just never made any friends. I just would yeah. play the game. You know, it doesn't go it's not there. Go do go do all your all your world quests. Yeah. <laughs> get your get your cash for the day. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's yeah. that's it. I don't know. I, I mean So that, that well that so this all pushes towards the, the back and forth here, right? Because there might be give and take on both sides. You're not just trying to like just all be against the stuff that WoW does wrong, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. is there anything, because we've obviously brought up player housing, I think that's like the top of the list for things that Final Fantasy has that WoW should look to get integrated into their game. We've been asking for many expansions in a row, the social aspects of it, that type mm -hmm. of gameplay, and that bringing people together is huge. But are there things that you might see go either direction then? Are there things from WoW that you would like to see in in yes I, fantasy add -ons. Say, okay. I do also <laughs> before before we get into that oh, okay. i do want to throw out there that um i think phasing was a big a big issue yes. or mm. is it charting? Mm. one of the two was there, also a they big are issue. two different th versions of the same kind of thing yeah yeah so that i feel like that played a huge role as well because mm. you could be right next to somebody as far as the social aspect and then not see them ever. Yeah, for for instance, Arkies would try and come hang out with us because uh, we would we would hope to see him, but he we would never get phased in the same thing. Tom and I could be playing the game yeah. together, and and unless I invited her to a party, we would I never, wouldn't see her. Yeah, like so. so that played a big role as well. Yeah, so like I I get it. The other day on stream, like I'm in Mechagon doing Mechagon dailies, and I have war mode on, so random PvP spices up, and. I get it because the 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 sharding phasing is story based phasing to make the world evolve. So that's a, a positive overall. The sharding yes. thing is the negative one. I'm literally fighting someone, and we move from like one area of Mechagon to another, and that shards us into a different thing, and they just disappear off my screen. Yep. yep. So now and I'm no longer use... PVPing. All right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep, that yeah. happened to me a lot. And then you will, you, or you do that and you use all your cooldowns, and then you get murked by four people that are in your new shard. They all of a sudden no come out of nowhere. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah, it's that was that's a big a big complaint. But I just want to throw that out there before we moved on. <laughs> so add-ons, though. Yes. It's it's, it's a big it's a big gray area. It's becoming mm. better. At one point, you weren't allowed to use anything in Final Fantasy. Now you can actually use damage meters, but okay. you have to use them carefully because if you uh, tell anyone or you use it as a tool, tell people they're playing poorly right, or use it as a way to harass people, yes, yeah. you can actually get banned for it. Yes. Um. So if WoW it, did that, oh my god, <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so it's it's a very but I mean, this this kind of goes even goes back to like we were saying with the um, the people that were lined up for our event, right? The community as a whole is a bit different, right? It's yeah. it's not they, people don't jump on the fact of like, oh, I have to, I'm I'm being like policed, I have to do this and mm -hmm. follow these rules. People are just like, oh, don't be a jerk, like that. It makes sense, yeah. You know, like so I get it, um, but I mean, people, it's not as frowned upon now because people still use ac it, that's what it's called it's a damage meter yeah but it's not in game it's a third party thing yeah. and that's Similar why it's a gray to, area yeah it it's it's a like an overlay mm -hmm. um but that's that's why it's a gray area because technically third party stuff isn't allowed yeah right so that's where it falls in that like if you use it you just can't be negative about it. Yeah. Or just don't talk about it. Just use it because they As only a tool. technically, yeah, they recently said, hey, you can use it. Yeah. Only if, because people want to do things like ultimate, which yeah. um, we haven't mentioned, but that's like mythic rating yeah. uh, or above mythic rating, basically. Yeah. Um, But it's like uh, if people are doing that and they want to know where they're messing up. So they kind of allow it there. But if you go into a group and you're like, hey, we're not killing this because your numbers are this low and the person didn't ask for it you there's a potential that that, that person could, get, could you get you in trouble yeah you know what i mean so yeah it's primarily stuck to things like raid teams yeah that, that's where it's used but that's the only one there there's some other stuff like they read they allow shaders 
mm -hmm. which again is what I use a lot for picture taking in our zebra too. Yeah, it's yeah. uh, it it's just a graphics thing. Right? Yeah. Um, like it's basically playing the game and then putting an Instagram filter. Yeah, over exactly. It. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Yeah. So. Um, and then that's those are really that's really it though. That's yeah. all they really got. <laughs> yeah. So. It it would be nice. I I will tell you in the year the biggest thing that I say I wish I had and so a few other people that have come over and we played WoW and still play with us. Yeah, is weak auras. I would give anything for weak auras. <laughs> Same. See, that's the. <clears throat> I pulled up. Just so I, just I, let I, me track. Just let me track my dots. Yes. <laughs> I pulled up here in the B-roll section. This is uh, TPS, mm -hmm. the Epic Alexander Ultimate World First that just happened at the end of November. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you aren't familiar with what Final Fantasy XIV looks like. I would assume that it's like a mixed crowd that's going to watch this live and then watch it on YouTube. To me, whenever I look at this, obviously the engine is so different than WoW can't do some of the animations and the stylized things that Final Fantasy does. And the gameplay yeah. is obviously way slower compared to WoW. WoW is so fast compared to this. In, in different way. Yeah. In di yeah. But, yeah. But if you look at all this, there's a lot of just stuff. But if to your eyes, you don't see, you only see certain things that like matter or impact your character or at all, like where, what you're looking for, what your UI looks for, what you're looking at that matters for your information. But to those, you, you're saying you want weak ores, you want add-on support, but there's a lot of stuff <laughs> on this screen. Yeah. So it's got, it's basically, it's the same as a WoW default UI, really. Yeah, sure. It has okay. a, it has a party frame, has a chat frame. Mm -hmm. Um it has the only differences that I see right now that you're looking at is there's a thing called a limit break bar. Yeah. Um that shows up when you do dungeons. That's that three yellow bars. Yeah. And then a target list. But here's the thing, you can turn all that off. Yeah. That's mm. another reason they don't do add-ons is because their in-game HUD is very very customizable extremely customizable like it's the extra stuff though okay yeah. that that we would like we guards right um so like and you can resize all that too so you could resize it all and you can move it wherever you want turn it off stuff like that mm -hmm. oh and the the job bar as well only only pointed that out um to the like bottom right kind of there's a weird thing with like a, looks like a with clock like, ticking down looks like a clock ticking yeah that's a job bar um, that's kind of, that's the closest to like a we, we Gora bar that yeah. you can get. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's built in game already. Like you don't have to use anything to do that. That's just what they did themselves for every, every class has like, their if own. If you looked at our, our HUDs, our UI, it looks completely different than that person. Yeah. Okay. That person has a lot of stuff on their screen. <laughs> well, yeah. they're, they're, an, they're an ultimate end game raider, yeah. right? So they're, they're fighting essentially the, the highest end content in the game. It's, so it's just position different. Yeah, there's some people that have it like not like a lot so much in your face like that. That person's sure. like a little bit all over. Yeah. So yeah. But But again, how... that's that's just different mentalities, right? Yeah. Yeah. Some people I I mean even when I played WoW, I again, my favorite thing was always add-ons. A lot of people hate it, but I would spend 3 hours just tweaking my pitbull so that oh, it was sure. the exact size did, stuff wasn't overlapping it didn't hurt my eyes when i read the names yeah. like little things right so i i think that's why but yeah um it yeah pff, glow I, <laughs> glowy you you couldn't have nailed it even <laughs> anymore it's like sco's ui in final fantasy oh come on yeah poor scott um, but um i i will say so you you had mentioned like how fast paced things are in like wow compared to final fantasy right so mm -hmm. the the main difference as you get harder in difficulty is they add mechanics or overlap mechanics sure but the difference with fights in final fantasy um is that it's not so much as a recovery like going in and trying to like manage a bill or manage mechanics and then recover from them it's about doing a mechanic and doing it flawlessly like almost every mechanic in that fight if you get hit by it or you don't do it right will one shot you yeah and if you yeah, die you're yeah. not going to kill it yeah 
that's that's how they're tuned mm -hmm. so even if one person so it's literally the fights are more of a dance you have to memorize the fight know that all right this cast is going off and as soon as the animation that's the other trick because you can play with ps4 players mm -hmm. is um as soon as the animation goes off you can move so mm -hmm. a lot of the ultimate raiders um just perfect that stuff right they count it down in their head or they however on discord or whatever and they're like all right this mechanic is going off and then three two one the animation goes off and then you run yeah. because if you don't move right then another mechanic is about to go off and you're gonna right. you're gonna die yeah. like there's a lot of wow ones like that but you can like cheese it with a shaman or you can cheese it with whatever um yeah see you I, can't I, do that unsung school with you on that one too yeah i've heard this before just that final fantasy raid fights become ordered and very dance like where wow is very rng and mechanic mitigation and the the yeah. new the new addition to the World of Warcraft uh, raid encounter repertoire is what some people, uh, you know, really don't like is the new spell queuing feature. Only a few bosses have had spell queuing so far. So normally, as I say, like Final Fantasy is dance. It does ability A, B, C, D, resets. A, B, C, D, resets, right? The dance. Mm -hmm. All, all the stuff from expansions past has done this. But Jaina and Zakul come to mind, two recent raid bosses, where say they have abilities that come off cooldown at different times, right? You got a 30 second cooldown. This is like the, the boss bar. They can choose what they want to use. Normally when that yeah. ability comes off cooldown, they'll use the ability. That's where your A, B, C, D comes from. Spell queuing now, the way that it looks like to players is that if certain things overlap and they have abilities A, C, and E off cooldown, they'll just pick one. No. Oh. So they might do A, B, C, D, and then do like A, C, E, B, D. So you, you never pull the same boss multiple times in a row. And then that also impacts phase pushes in World of Warcraft. This is very, very, very big thing for Mythic Zakul where down to a certain second, if you don't push the boss before X seconds, you will get a different overlap one second later than if you pushed it one second faster because of spell queuing and how things butt up against each other and then the boss picks one. So I feel like I feel like that messes with like cooldowns. You think so, Tom? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not great. I, that, sounds, that sounds like such a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, there are a couple of fights like that in 14, though, Thadrin? Not to that extent, but they are there. Hmm. Interesting. If, so, so, again, I, we we swapped over about a year ago. So we swapped over right. at the end of Stormblood. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we okay. didn't do the raids. Like, by the time we got max level, got a house for the free company and, like, all that stuff, um, that wasn't really our focus. Yeah um and then we didn't get into it until like early shadowbringers so current expansion yeah um so if if there were we i mean we didn't see them but that that does sound interesting um i mean i can see some stuff that where like you would push a boss as far as dps wise i for example one of the early early like a realm reborn ones right is ifrit right mm -hmm. he's it's literally you can do him super early first expansion basically uh or first game realm reborn anyways um you can push him they fix this but for a while if you kill them too fast there's a mechanic where you have to kill things called spikes they yeah. spawn and if you didn't kill the spikes and then you pushed him too fast he would one shot you didn't yeah. matter what your gear or level was the mechanic would go off and he'd one shot you sure yeah. so you'd have to like push wait till like 19 percent kill the spike that spawned and then kill him yeah. like and it was stuff like that they fixed it but i guess i could see it and some fights as far as current where stuff like that would happen mm -hmm. but hmm yeah it's, I, it's interesting i get uh, the the one shots though are definitely the, the hmm there was because I, I wanted to make sure i phrase this properly one-shot mechanics and what I call high-octane mythic rating in World of Warcraft comes to the point of you can do the fight 8, 10, 12 minutes long and there are 
three new encounters coming up. We haven't seen a lot of these all of BFA so far, but we have the the oops, I stubbed my toe, entire raid dies mechanics. <laughs> and there yeah. are there are two, if not three, bosses in the Nihilotha raid coming up in end of January that have those again in Mythic. Which looks and amazing, by the way. The raid looks fantastic, and the boss fights look neat. Outside of the whoops, the ball didn't connect my model correctly and barely touched one of these towers and exploded and the whole raid's dead and the boss was at 3% HP. Like, <laughs> oh great, that's super fun! <laughs> so, yeah. a couple of those, Zul Harak from last, uh, from Warlords, actually you might remember Zul Harak in Mythic. If you ever combined two of the same colors, when you're at, at progression point, it blew up the raid and you basically died. And those are kind of fun when they're sprinkled, but when there's too many of them, it gets to this point where even a Maiden of Virtue comes up in Tomb of Sargeras, where even farm just was <laughs> never fun because yeah. the one-shot wipe the raid mechanics are just like, oh, here we go again. And it, they definitely have to use them sparingly because the de designers need to make things challenging, but when the challenge is one person messed up and costs everyone else 10 minutes of time reset again and then oops a different person messed up cost other you know four or five more minutes and it just it just keeps compiling 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 it's not those yeah. are rough but the there weeds is... hmm? those so those types of mechanics are primarily in like the really hard difficulties okay um whereas like it could be the same mechanic on like normal Right. But it won't one shot you. Yeah, it's a wow. Well, Some it, of them. Do it, yeah. So like, but they do they do kind of mix it up. So it's not just like sometimes it's not just damage, right? Like some fights you're on a platform, so you could get knocked off. Yeah. Right. So you still gotta do the mechanic, right? Because if you fall off, you're dead. Like uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a big thing. Yeah. Or so just stuff like that. Yeah. Um, or if you do get hit. You get like a vulnerability debuff. It won't kill you, mm -hmm. but now you take more damage. Yeah. So other mechanics might. It, so they kind of, that's how I think they mix it up um, mostly is like some fights you have to like soak orbs, mm -hmm. but if you soak too many of the same color, you're going to have too high debuff, whatever. So you got to like alternate to reset the debuff. Um, or like there's some fights where the fight was designed. Um, there's a current fight called Titania. And the current fight is like circle spawn on the ground, and it's always the same. Pa well, it's always a pattern. It one in the middle, and then the rest spawn either clockwise or counterclockwise. But they people started cheesing it, and they just stand in the middle and they take one vulnerability stack instead of relying on people to run all over the place and yep. dodge them all. And then you just heal through that vulnerability for like a minute, and that's it. Yeah. Um, but then there's a transition in the fight, and if people don't go to the right spot, you're gonna get knocked off, and then everybody's dead. So yeah. it's like they cut, they do, they do sprinkle in. It's not every mechanic is a one shot, but there are quite a few of them. Ultimate, however, every mechanic is a one shot. Yeah, <laughs> it, that's how that's totally how perfect. ultimate is hmm. because yeah. it's literally the hardest. Like if you do this wrong, you're dead. That's it. Mm -hmm. It it is the ultimate form of a, a dance. It's basically DDR on like the highest difficulty. <laughs> like that's yeah, that's it. So there are definitely dance. some some similarities and some differences in how the raid stuff goes. But as we get into the weeds here and just checking the time, uh, I, I have heard the preface and ask. Hold on, let me. Um, I need to refresh our Discord server. One moment, it might uh, blip blip. Okay. Because we were getting some... That's fine. Uh, I had the Mog station open, but apparently it's down for maintenance now. Oh, oh. fun. <laughs> so I cannot bring up the in-game store, which is the next big topic I want to get at here. Uh, the, no, we fresh it, they said. Uh, I, I just did twice. Oh, weird. Maintenance. The service is currently unavailable due to maintenance. Please try again later. Um, sometimes it just kicks you out. Well, I can try. Let me see. Maybe. Because what I was what I was looking at 
there was another website that I pulled up, but I don't know if this is like a third party thing. It didn't want to show it on screen. The Mog Station one. There's like, mm -hmm. there's an mm -hmm. eBay banner on the side or something. I don't know. This, this looks like a third party thing, so I don't want to bring this one up. Let me... Uh... The, so the, the Mog Station is... Um, is the Dangerous. Store. And, well, <laughs> <laughs> dangerous for your wallet. Well, okay. <laughs> Yes. Okay, we're back. So, we're back. <clears throat> I think optional items. This is the thing I want to talk about. Yeah. Uh, oh, why boy. is Sonny saying this is dangerous? So I'm Tom logged doesn't in let me here. Want it anymore. <laughs> yeah. I I'm. Uh, this is this is the big thing. So this is a really simple Mia. Hello. Hello. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Clear this chat. All right, fine, Mia. Thanks. Right in the middle of the show here. <laughs> Pre appreciate you. I appreciate you, obviously, but like at the same time, ridiculous. <laughs> so uh, th th this is the thing I want to talk about. I mean, this is sort of all this is building to, right? We went back and forth on what WoW has is good, what, what Final Fantasy has is good, what they look from different games, so back and forth, raids. Oh, we're getting into the weeds, but I want to. Really simple, but probably way more than just a simple slug line of cash shops in these games. And community perception. And I'm very die in the world of World of Warcraft. I've been doing this for a long time now. The show's been going for seven years. You guys have a history in World of Warcraft. And then obviously you've been playing almost exclusively Final Fantasy XIV for a year now. So you've yeah. soaked up so much of this. When there's been tumultuous Legion to BFA World of Warcraft madness going on. Yeah. Okay. If it so for chat, you can see this. I'll I'll bump this it's up a, full screen, but that's hmm. a dangerous conversation. The, the, <laughs> so this is the all page, and there's way, way more on here. And it goes back. There's 478 total items on the entire Mog Station store mog as in like a moogle mog station it's the little kupo face up here in the top corner right the 478 items in total now this includes like sales and the story boost skips on every single job like all these different you know black mage machinist summoner red mage all these journey skips right these are the story skips so go right to level 70 which which that's those are that's those are character boosts kind of uh, yeah. So there's more things on here. Those WoW has just one character boost. You know, right. Character boost done. But obviously there's multiple jobs. So that's still way more expensive than a uh, character boost. So that's a huge difference there. But why are there so few store items in World of Warcraft, but so much more virtue-seeking, angry YouTube videos, Twitter thread outrage compared to Final Fantasy XIV, which has, as I just showed again, hundreds of items on the cash shop in different manners from mounts to seasonal things to full-on costumes to pets to everything else or is that just because i know and keep up to date with the wow side of things way more than the final fantasy side and you're now on the final fantasy side versus the wow side so what i don't know sonia you can talk to me on this one first because you've dabbled in this obviously quite a bit as you've now been banned from it uh <laughs> is is if if Square Enix posts a new mount, does the Final Fantasy XIV community just go Ree! like the WoW community does, or are they just like, oh, cool, a new mount? Uh, it's a <laughs> it's a little bit of both, but re is more like everyone and their mother is buying it, and <laughs> it crashes the game, and it crashes the site, and then you have to wait twelve hours for it to actually arrive in your mailbox in game because they're so backed up from so many people ordering. Yeah. <laughs> So it's yeah. totally different. People get excited. People are, are always excited when something launches. I've never heard of anyone getting upset over something they've launched. Um, so that, it's a whale. It's Mia, huge. That whale's also a two-person mount. Yeah. So there's um there's never any backlash in this game um for items that are launched ever. So it's total opposite. Um, but it's it's a cash shop, but it's also a lot cheaper. Then wow, in the sense you can buy outfits and everything that are like five bucks, 
there's they're just cute little things for people to play around with. It keeps people excited because they have something cute to walk around in. The, makes RPing easier. I I feel like I feel like that right there is is a big thing. Yeah. Right. The the type of players like because the community is a lot more Close um a lot more like there we go like like we said we we hang out and stuff it's a lot more sociable mm -hmm. um as opposed to strictly rating yeah um so they have things like glamours or, or transmog right outfits and stuff yeah. like that that you can get they have a ton of mounts they have uh some housing items yeah. um and and whatnot but um the the community from what we notice it that's what they play for right mm -hmm. people play to to have cool glamours um and that's it but they're not extremely overpriced right it is cheaper though because like um the helms oh, that they had as... in game in wow were 15 bucks yeah and you can get some whole um because that was the only form of like transmog they really had on the blizzard store was those yeah. three different helms um and those were 15 bucks i'm pretty sure they were 15 so you can there get some outfits been, for like maybe been 10 up to 15 depending on your regional currency but yeah something like that. yeah yeah something so like you can that. get some outfits for like three and five dollars i'm looking and at helmets guys... um, there's a freaking horse hat three dollars yeah yeah three, well, those, three dollars nobody orders and you those. can and you can <laughs> but you can spend five bucks and get a whole outfit that's yeah. that's a uh, chess piece sometimes mm -hmm. gloves pants mm -hmm. boots like it's a, literally a full outfit um for like five bucks or something yeah. like that so it realistically it's it's not as pricey um but going back to something else that you had mentioned um was like the character boost or the job boosts and stuff like that um that's a big if you purchase them for every job of course right, it'll it would equal more than wows right but in the long run not everyone does that yeah um and it's a lot cheaper the other thing is you only have to do the story the story in final fantasy once so mm -hmm. not a lot of people buy the story skip unless they make an alt and yeah. they've already done all the story which alts aren't really needed but some people play on other servers and stuff like that um so it the the fact that the price point is a lot lower even for things like their other features like server transfer mm -hmm. It their server transfer is eighteen, and you can transfer all of your characters from one account. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so in general, the price point is a lot lower. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, the stuff is really cool. You can buy emotes and and Look stuff like now, that. Yeah. So it, it really depends on like why you're playing. Yeah. So, um, and as far as as far as people like getting upset about the Blizzard one, I. I'm really not sure. I like I personally never got upset. I love the new mounts. Me too. And I, I love the the pets and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like um I feel like people heck. Like when you hit back, it does that. Oh, you yeah. You can't hit back. So you have to hit there's a little button at the top that says back to shopping or something yep, like that. Yep, yep, yep. Broke. I have a login. I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like some people like a, a large portion of the, of the community just kind of like got upset at some point in that like those span of expansions with the game and the company as a whole yeah and then since then everything they do they pitch for it it's not just the microtransactions but that kind of puts a spyglass on it yeah I, from what i see anyways i i mean the majority of final fantasy from what we see in the community that we see and stuff um they look forward to the stuff on the store yeah i'm like launch more i need yeah. more click character on <laughs> um, there at the top there's a character tab and it shows you all of the different glamours that you can buy like the different transmogs yeah, and then was, and then there's another there. one too another big seller is things called fantasias and yep. that's what people use to swap their races. character in game like yeah, their races, races so, so yeah. it's a race swap um, and you can buy multiple or you can buy one at a time and stuff like that. And that's probably like, that's literally probably it's their 10 biggest bucks seller. versus 25. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause wow is 25 to. Wow is you gotta, you gotta add all the, uh, 25, right? Yes. It's $25. So. 
Yep. Yeah. You're going to add that it's $25 and your character is one class, whereas it's $18 and your one character you create is every single job in the game. Now, yeah. that's a well, fundamental. It's 10 bucks just a race change. Oh, okay. Well, that's a... 18 bucks. But, but, it's 18 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's 18 bucks to server swap, yeah. 10 okay. bucks to race change. 10. Yeah. yeah. $10 to race change. And yeah. that's that's your your one character that is every job. Now that's a yeah. fun. You, you can't always use that. I've seen that come up in arguments. I'm just using it as an example. You can't say yeah. that as like a big selling point because obviously the games are different. World of Warcraft yeah. doesn't have the job system where one character is everything, mm -hmm. but it does show. Oh, it's just it's incredibly interesting to see how much stuff yeah. and how it was, many. It's a big. It's a big um, thing that at least in our community is talked about often yeah. and that sure. that's why i pointed it out mostly um because a lot of people like race change a lot a lot yeah <laughs> like i feel like every day i log on and people are a different race i feel like um saying that final fantasy isn't very new player friendly is probably like just honestly just like a generic statement any mmo i feel like is not new player friendly if you're not willing to get once it they've shot. been out for it's a like number of years yeah yeah, like I, yeah. I even when Tom and I went to play Guild Wars 2, it was like we had to put in the time to actually learn about the game because it was totally different. And we probably had the same view that it was really hard to get into and it wasn't new player friendly. But yeah, it, Final Fantasy has they, done a lot of they have like a lot of pop ups and stuff that guide people when they're playing the game to explain everything in like full depth. Mm -hmm. Um, and it goes on forever. It's really annoying if you make a new character because they just won't stop. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but they they try their best to make new <laughs> players. They give XP buffs. You get like an extra XP buff if you join a server that is a preferred server. So like a like medium to low pop server, you'll get like a an extra XP buff. So you level even faster. It's actually substantial too. It's, it's ridiculous. not just like a couple percent. It's like double. Yeah, it's like double XP. It's ridiculous. So um, and the community itself is so helpful. Tom and I were like when we came back, we were so clueless. Because we had been gone for so long. But, like, the community itself, you could be walking by somebody in town and ask a question, even if you think it's a newbie question, and people will answer. You know, like, they don't, they'll take their time to actually walk you out somewhere and tell you how to do something. Like, the people, people are just like, they're always amped to help new people. It's so different. If I whispered somebody in WoW, they probably wouldn't move or they'd just run off and do their own thing. Or um, tell me to go to WoWhead. Yeah, or they'd get, yeah, some people are helpful. Not everyone is like that, but the the running into more helpful people in Final Fantasy is definitely a more common thing. Yeah, it's more wholesome. Yeah. That that said, I there's hmm. there's a lot of things that I personally I, I like about the the Blizzard store as well. Um mm -hmm. I personally find the mounts better, <laughs> but mm. um Yeah, I I kind of agree. Some they don't that's one thing Final Fantasy is lacking overall in general is more uh, masculine um just like badass looking mounts like war style stuff like everything is very anime and like a little girly and cutesy and they are definitely lacking the masculine side of the game like in gear in general period it's more it is definitely more a little bit on the feminine side there are pieces that are really good but like yeah, the 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 store in general, since we're talking about the store, is very frilly mounts in a yeah. sense. So it's just, it's, they're cute and they're fun. So right now, and this could be a seasonal thing, and there could be things that get phased out. Same thing that happens in World of Warcraft. There mm -hmm. are looking at the mount page. I'll I'll b roll this up again, just because you brought up mounts again. I mean, there's a couple on here that are, are pretty like chonky. I mean, there's like the fat cat. And there's a little cloud and a flying carpet and a panda bear yeah. and the whale and a big old fat flying yeah. moogle. And I get it, you know, <laughs> but there, there are 20, there are 20 mounts currently. And, and even straight up here, two are recolors, two mm -hmm. are recolors. Yeah. So really there are 16. Um, yeah. But in World of Warcraft, there has been like two dozen store mounts in the game. And usually every expansion brings in one with like the pre-order, but like the special edition, and then like two launched during the actual expansion lifetime. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe three sometimes there's some extra, you know, thing going on there. So two dozen store mounts. If I go, I actually don't even know. Uh, 
I think this is a post on Wowhead. Let me double check. Is well, that didn't find it. The mount tracker. I wanted to find. I wanted to find the actual mount amount because there is the amount of mounts. I want to say there's somewhere like seven hundred in the game. Something yeah, there's like a that. lot in Final Fantasy too. There, yeah, there's quite a few in Final Fantasy. A lot, yeah. So I, I guess that's the weird follow-up is that why when one new mount comes out, and I use this example a lot last patch in World of Warcraft, they added in like 18 through gameplay. And yeah, there's some recolors because they're coming from different sources, yeah. but the same kind of mount, like the manta rays in Ajar. There's like four different colors. But yeah. the, the one goes on the or whatever. Yeah, the frog mounts, a different colored frog, different colored saddle that goes on the frog, whatever, right? The Krogwa froggies. But when one mount goes on the store and they patch in 18, 20 new mounts that are just in gameplay, like the B mount or the damn, the gold sink mounts. And the gold sink mounts are actually more monetarily expensive than the actual store mounts. And it just becomes this really icky, gross cesspool on the internet for a while about, uh, I, I fly around on the newest stupid, the Muppet dragon mount, the shill mount. I fly around on purpose. I think it's hilarious because the, the, the anti wow mount conglomerate just gets so up in arms about one mount on the store versus the almost two dozen they patch in the game. And I don't, I guess I don't get that. And it looks it's similar it because there's similar amounts of mounts you said in Final Fantasy. Yeah. I, I don't get it either. I really don't. Um, I, I've been confused about that for a while. But I, I always, I, I didn't really start would. noticing it at least. Personally, I didn't start noticing people getting upset until about Legion. Yeah. Hmm. About the store mounts. Like, so at some point in Legion, the, the community just kind of shifted. And then every time they released something, they just, like, just, just like, got Mechanic really upset. Thing. Yeah. Square Enix is like, if you're going to complain, they just don't care. They're just like, whatever. We're going to do what we want to do. And that's how it is. So live with it or <laughs> but most like, people i mean but most people don't actively complain about no it. they don't it's not like that's the whole difference in the community yeah mm -hmm. i just, think sometimes i'll find like one post mm -hmm. on reddit or something that yeah. somebody linked but it just kind of like fizzles out after like a day or two yeah it's not like a it's not like a big thing so i don't know um it's unfortunate i because there's some really cool mounts i actually i used to look forward to the some of the store mounts because they were like really unique. Yeah, I liked them too. I wish they had launched. I, I always actually, said I, I wish still, they would launch. I more. still think one of my favorite ones is the the um, Sonny got it for me a while back. I think it was the Fade Dragon. It like changes oh, colors. Oh yeah. Hey, that's a girly mount. <laughs> Never that's mind, I don't like mouth. it. Well, oh, no! Uh, there's nothing wrong with girly stuff, but I mean, you were saying you wanted more, like, because you've set, voiced it for a while, as wanting the ma more in, masculine things. It's, the it's true, though. I Actually, my my favorite my favorite mounts in Final Fantasy aren't the store ones. Mm -hmm. They're they're ones that I've I've earned through, like... You had some big, crazy horse I saw the other day when I turned into that's, stream. That's my that's my favorite mount. It's the, the black uh, Garo mount. It's a big metallic horse. Okay. Yeah. It was part. It was part of an event, and yeah. now you can't get it anymore. But it. It's um, that's a big thing too. I, for me personally, I like thing. I like achieving stuff that they're gonna remove. So just like I love doing mage towers and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. So let's. I'm happy with housing. <laughs> we I gotta, gotta get all these items. <laughs> well, I look. I look through the housing stuff. There's quite a lot of how much of the the housing stuff from the Mog Station do you actually uh, have? Because there's a lot. So so before she answers that, it's 105 let me, items. Let me throw something out there before she answers <laughs> that. Some of that stuff is so another cool thing that Final Fantasy does. I don't think they do it with mounts, but other items okay. is that they um so they'll do an in-game event, like yeah. a holiday event. And then end the event, and you can't get the items. But then usually, about a year later, they release some or all of those items on the mock station. Yeah. 
So a year late, the next year they released the so because Final Fantasy actually does. And... It, I'm like wow, because wow, that was one one of my big complaints about wow, because I get into more of the like casual stuff than Tom does. So they missed out on like all of the holidays. Like it was the same items that you would get every year, same mm. events, nothing new. It didn't nothing that wanted to make you go do it. Um, and they do something different every year and you get different items every year. Um, glams, whether it's glams or house items or mounts, stuff like that. Um, and then when you, if you missed it that year, you can always look forward to the next holiday because they will launch them on the Mog station. You can buy them for really cheap. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, I own everything. <laughs> you own all 105? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, Pretty much. But some of them I got from doing the event itself. Like right, I actually right, went and right. did it, and I got it for free in game. That's um, why. That's why I brought that up. Is because okay. she didn't buy all of them, but she did buy quite a few. But there are some things that I bought ten of because I didn't have ten and I needed them. For yeah, the house. I didn't find out till like the next week. Because the housing is like Sims. I mean, I can take yeah. um, mm -hmm. a snowman and it glows, and I can glitch it up into a wall. And then it hangs from a ceiling and it looks like a dome light in your kitchen. Like it's a recessed lighting and you don't even see the rest of the snowman. So I need 10 snowmans because I need recessed lighting. There's so much you can do with housing. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You would have never known that it was a snowman butt hanging out my wall. Ten, well. <laughs> and now you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you do. So that, that leads me. We got into the weeds a little bit, and that's good. So we'll see what the YouTube comments say. I know mean, chat's been keeping up with us in different aspects here as well as to, yeah, Sonia's god tier level interior decorator. <laughs> well, that... So I want to get... I have... After the, the little break coming up here, I have a... a side note that I definitely want to get into that we have some silly segments on the horizon. I always do these in the year-end special, so I want to get to those. But then before, let's wrap this end bit up here. So... It's a two-pronged question, and Tom first, what is your favorite part of Final Fantasy XIV, but then what is your favorite part about World of Warcraft? So is it an activity? Is it social aspects? Is it, was it raids? Is it stories and cutscenes? Is it those Terran Gregory cinematics? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> so I, what, is, what is your two okay. answers for that? Okay, let me start with Final Fantasy. Sure. Let me start with Final Fantasy. So, as far as Final Fantasy goes, um, I think my my favorite thing has been, um, it it's a toss up between literally just making my character look like badass because they have a lot of like the casual like stances and stuff mm -hmm. like that, um, and gearing that isn't only required from Mythic rating. Um, some of the stuff I can get from crafting and stuff like that. Um, the other aspect is I actually genuinely enjoy the rating um, and like the some of the challenges. So like they have things called deep dungeons yep. um, that you can do and you can do things like solo it. I like doing that stuff. So there's a challenge um, which um, trying to push like solo content in, in that um, as well as doing a full clear all the way to the top for the achievement and the mount and special title and stuff like that with groups. Like I helped Sonya get it and I helped like like six of our free company members get like a special mount and title mm -hmm. from clearing it so many times. Um, that's what I love about Final Fantasy, some of that stuff. And being able to make your own content. Um, as far as WoW, it kind of leads me into that too. My all-time favorite thing to do in WoW was challenge modes and Mage Tower. Dang it. That was going to be my answer. Oh, you can still say it. <laughs> I it's literally, we loved doing challenge modes. Like, that was hands down my favorite thing mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. um, I think I, I got almost all of the armor sets um, from challenge modes and mop. Oh, wow. I got two. <laughs> and then I got all the weapons. I did it on, like, four different characters in Warlords. Um, and then Mage Towers, I actually, on my own, which I'm very proud of, Ooh. um, I actually, uh, did every single Mage Tower for every, every class, every spec. Whoa. So whoa, I got... Whoa. That's yeah. crazy. I only did like 13. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, whoa, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I was, I was, pre I'm actually pretty proud of that. I talk about it all the time, but yeah, so I have every, I have every Mage Tower weapon, um, on all, all my characters i did all mine on my own too yeah totally all by myself because yep. i'm that pro yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> i did mm -hmm. it, was, 
It was pretty Press impressive. X to <laughs> doubt. <laughs> I did all of my challenge modes in MOP, though. I did all of my challenge modes in MOP on my own. I actually really loved MOP, a MOP challenge mode. I guess they got a little X wall uh, coming up for you. It was. <laughs> It was actually, it was actually, um, I, like I said, the, the May showers and, and some of that stuff was my, my favorite thing, hands down. Um, I, I do really enjoy raiding. Um, I have to admit that like, I have always, even since like BC, I've always looked forward to like the top end guilds. Cause I've never been like a top 100 raider, but I have completed a lot of tiers. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've always looked forward to like those world first guilds releasing the like, like their cinematic videos for their like final boss kills or the raid yeah, tier. Yeah, yeah. And then that always every single expansion hyped me up. Like the second I watched those videos, I was like, I want to do everything. <laughs> I don't care what it is. I just want to do everything. <laughs> yeah. So that's I think that's that's what I've always loved. And I I do have to I do have to say that the 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 Taryn Gregory cinematics always on point. So yes. um yes. we a lot of our community still loves watching those as well. So yeah. Um I, I know everyone's gonna assume that I'm gonna say housing. Um and Final <laughs> Fantasy is my favorite thing. Uh -huh. Um but it's actually my second favorite thing. Um first I, is gardening. No. <laughs> If I could burn all of the gardens down to the ground, I would. I would never garden again because <laughs> it's so time consuming. Um, <laughs> it's all space. He's like, really? <laughs> I, I'm actually shocked. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no, no. My first thing, honestly, is um, just hanging out at our free company house and goofing around with our friends. Like, j just sitting around and, oh, wait, hold on. I have something I can show you. Um, just goofing around and just being silly and not feeling i don't know it's just like a stress you, relief to just sit what am i looking for what are you showing oh it's from yesterday uh or the day before yesterday um but oh, like just sitting around and doing is it things. the pool like, shot I... yes <laughs> i've already pulled it up then i knew what you're looking for this <laughs> who who is in this picture <laughs> so arky's in stream right now <laughs> who is this is is the the Snick man in the middle snicker dudes and arkies <laughs> i just like i just like doing silly things that's my favorite thing is to just walk around and bother people that's what i really like doing <laughs> so i that's my favorite thing um i just really enjoy the social aspect i think i've missed out on that the for face a on that time. lala <laughs> that's a gr i'm grunting like oh mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um but i love that i i missed that and wow after kata kata was the last time that i was social in world of warcraft um i felt i was felt very nervous in wow to talk to people and make friends for a really long time and Tomorrow i'm really time. happy that i have that back in final fantasy i'm not nervous to talk to anybody i'll talk to anybody now in game and i'm just really happy that i have that back um but yeah second thing would definitely be housing because that's what i love i love the sims and I, now i've incorporated it into the game and um it's a lot of fun we're actually getting ready to launch my uh, a website called momo designs um so that i can oh. actually open up because i do commissions but i yeah. haven't actually like i've gotten so many requests that i have to make a website and put some sort of like um structure <laughs> into it because there's just so much like that's going on with it that I, I can't just, I have to have a more, or, more organized. Um, it's kind of yeah. job like that you do that because I, I've, I've heard tale of you just sitting up for three, four, five, six hours some days and all you do is design things. Yeah. It's the same way with gardening. That's what I was saying. Uh, like the housing stuff is really time consuming. And then the amount of people that have requested stuff for me is time yeah. consuming. Cause I have to like organize and make sure I don't miss anybody and stuff like that. But gardening is really, really time consuming too. And um, let me show you a link on this. We actually, I have it all organized because we run 55 gardens in game now. Um, and we'll have more soon. We'll be upwards of like 60, um, 65 here in the next week after I get everyone assigned to new gardens. But I do want to just point out that, uh, like Krenna said, five to six hours is actually, that's like minimum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
This is a yeah, six so page have, document. Yeah, there's a lot of people. I have everybody assigned all of their house addresses, what they're growing. Um, it's it's a lot. Like that, it's it's a lot that goes into it, and that's why I said I would like to burn them all to that down to the ground if I could, because I would throw that sheet in the garbage and not have to ever work on it again. But well, the follow up yeah. question from from me as like a mythic raid boy is that what is the point of this? What do you get out of gardening? Are the materials get, you get important? We grow these things called Thavnarian onions. Um, and it takes a lot. You have to actually, just like in real life, if you wanted to grow a special plants, you have to crossbreed different plants and then they grow into one. And then right. they, you take that plant and then you grow with another plant that you crossbreed. And all of a sudden you have a whole new species of plant. Oh, gosh. Um, so basically, yeah, so that's what you do in the game. You crossbreed different plants and then you take those plants and you grow them together and then you make one thing. And that one thing can sell for a lot of money. So basically, we grow these things called Thavnarian onions, and you use them to level your chocobo. Um, mm. Because your chocobo is a companion you can take with you when you're soloing, and they can fight with you and help. They could be a healer, they could be a tank, they could be a DPS, and they can help you solo, make it easier on you, so you don't have to like feel strained, I guess, when you're out by yourself it, doing it stuff. Just, it just helps you do uh, different quests and stuff like that yeah so um but we grow the onions so that we can help give those to people in the free company because we have such a large free company there's people that have to level them so you feed it that and it'll level up yeah um but then if we have an overabundance of them which with 50 plus gardens we do um we will sell them and we use them to basically pay for the free company stuff so like that christmas event where it was 100 million gil we a lot of it was donated from other people but a, a big portion of the original cost was from us selling those onions so that's how we basically hmm. fund the events and stuff that we do but yeah so and and we also gave them away as well yeah um, we just we, give them away all we the give them away to to free donate members and there's other stuff that you can grow as well mm -hmm. um like you can make certain mounts and yeah. you can you can grow minions there's you can minions. grow these little onion pets in your garden and they have little heads that poke out of the garden. <laughs> Which are basically like <laughs> battle pets. Yeah. yeah. No, they're not. Minions, minions are. Yeah, minions are like battle, battle pets. pets. Yeah, 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 right. Um, but yeah, there's there's tons of different things. You can grow materials to for crafting. You can craft different minions and gear, transmogs and stuff like that. So there's so many different things that you can grow. Ridiculous. So that was all of your answer to 14. Final Did you say anything yeah. about WoW? My <laughs> well, I agreed with him. My yeah, my favorite thing was challenge modes. Like, yeah. I loved challenge modes. Like, that's the best time that I've ever had in the game in World of Warcraft was doing mop challenge modes. I could do them all day. I wish that Final Fantasy would introduce something like that. The, the closest thing we have is um, HOH, because um, those are timed. And yeah, the, the deep really dungeons rough. Yeah. Right. Uh, um, that, I, that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. As So the, the way the deep dungeon works is you basically go up floors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like one section is like 10 floors. And then like the last floor is the boss. Yeah. So um, you work your way up to the end and then you get special rewards. But each, each um, set, so each 10 is, like she said, on a timer. So the higher you go up and the harder things are, you have a timer because and you can't spend a lot of time fighting mobs so you gotta yeah. pick and choose like your route and it's always random but that's the closest so. thing that they have to it i i really wish that challenge modes had stayed like there i mean challenge modes were still there but they weren't the same like at warlords you got weapons and the weapons weren't that exciting so and i then, did the warlords challenge modes but i didn't really like and feel then you the got same. the legion weapons so like that next expansion yeah like it wasn't that great like it just was not there for me after that but mop was great um the second thing i think i would really i really liked in law was just being a gnome when we actually played alliance <sighs> nice being a gnome oh well, wait that, oh. here's one thing that i really like the female human um what is it what do you do when you just you say something random what is that it's the command to do something talk say something the joke random. It's joke the, yes it's, the oh. joke and the human female one of her lines is i like to fart in the tub Oh, <laughs> it's literally Sonia. That's why she likes it. I like to fart in the tub. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I, I squished this topic because we're like getting our pushing to over time here. I want to get to all the fun little bits for the second half. <laughs> second half and like the second 20 minutes. But the um, Deep Dungeon, Tower of the Damned, Torghast and Shadowlands next expansion. I did read about that. 
Um, I'm pretty excited, honestly. I well, I'm excited. I guess I'm excited. I don't know. I'm I'm intrigued is the better answer. Um, I because I still just have so much fun doing like what I'm doing currently. But we are going to level in Shadow uh, Shadowland. We are. We actually talked with our whole community because a lot of people still play well and they're really excited about it. We've right. talked about making our own raid team from the community and just doing like casual stuff. Yeah. Casual raiding. Nothing crazy. So in my effort to sort of grow and learn and understand more of this stuff and being at my parents' house for two and a half days and sometimes there's downtime just sitting around hanging out, I wanted to see what like the big mobile games were. So I had my phone, didn't have anything else. And I downloaded both Raid Shadow Legends, and I'm not that impressed. It's like, okay, it's kind of fun. Its graphics are cool, but it's like, eh. Uh, I've actually been quite enjoying this little game called AFK Arena. And I level yeah, 30. I have that. No, oh, dude, yeah. let's go. Let's, yeah. I got a friend named Tom. <laughs> let's go. I have it. AFK I have Arena. It. I also, I play another one called Archero. I don't know if you've seen that one. That one's pretty fun. No, I haven't heard that one. But what level are so, you in that? What level are you in AFK Arena, Tom? I'm 31. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm that high. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. He was playing straight. Like, he'd get in bed and he'd play for like three hours just laying in bed. Well, I mean, <laughs> the initial true. umph it's was true. very much. Now I basically only do stuff like every day for like 10 minutes because the game gets so much harder. Um, but anyway, but the reason why, I, I'm trying to find and look at what other games are out there and what other games are doing. And my dudes are fighting down there at the bottom. They're doing their own thing. <laughs> chop, chop it up. <laughs> um, far, it, it, that's the whole point of the game is that you do things and then it's like an auto battler. But in this, in the dark forest, there's a thing called King's Tower. What does this look like to you? I've cleared like, thir I'm, I'm on floor four. I thought the same thing. I'm on floor 55. So this is essentially a, I mean, it's curated because it goes like 500 floor or something stupid. You're level 106, Froggy? Nice! See, Jeez. so this immediately went to me. I was like, oh, I wonder where Blizzard got the idea for Torghast. It's not just this game. It's no. been done before. Obviously, yes. again, like what you guys have deep dungeons in Final Fantasy. But... The the d desire for I'm not gonna click on all my I'm gonna wait until after the stream to get my little dose of dopamine when I click on all my rewards. <laughs> um, like how much experience? It's so, um, it's that's so how they true. get you. It's how they get you. But um, yeah. I've given also, them I've level, given them 99 cents. 34. Oh oh okay. I'll get, I'll get your friend. Oh. I'm only 31. I'll get all your right. friend code later. Um, all right. But uh, it's I wanted to see where else. That because it's 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 the challenge mode mage tower solo content stuff. We're getting some type of solo content in the next patch in WoW with the horrific visions, which you can do solo. They're gonna be rough solo. But they eventually will get you'll be able to overcome them, and doing them solo is gonna be a huge extra little thing. Uh, but most it's gonna be like small group, if not five man. So they, they, they are re-embracing a system to bring that in. But again, I don't want to go back into the weeds here, but Torghast, I was talking to the Method guys at BlizzCon, and I was wondering if they see any potential for that to be like a community-curated event where you do like 1v1s or 2v2s or 3v3s or 5v5s, like in you have 30 minutes. How high can you go in Torghast? Right, different yeah. brackets of community event. If it's not just island expeditions that go up, that's the only hope I have. Is that they're, just, they're not just the same kind of garbage AI pull things together, AOE it down, bosses nothing, dodge telegraphs. It has to be a little bit more than that, not just islands that go vertical instead of horizontal, because that both of you agree on this. Mike's video just came out today. Preach made a video talking about how a year ago, how much different one expansion goes to the next in World of Warcraft, talking about. Mage Tower and the things you could do as a solo player, playing every single character, doing all the class stories, doing all the class mounts. It's all this, you can do something and feel accomplished, not just an AP grind or the gear RNG grind. And I get, I get so tired of islands. <laughs> I haven't done islands in months. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting to me. And that's just stuck out to me in this silly little mobile game. 
that there are those systems like that because the tower is like a perpetual thing because the campaign kind of brick walls you after a little while. You have to wait. But you can keep kind of working the tower and kind of like repositioning your formation and change your group around and try to auto battle a little better and priorities. And so there's there's some of that. And that's the solo challenge that WoW has been missing for a while. We had the Chromie scenario last expansion too, which you can still go do right now. It's evergreen because it scales you. But it's those things I think that WoW doesn't have in the whole put a bow on this that Final Fantasy sort of curates in their sandbox ish, like amusement park. It's like a carnival, I would say, Final Fantasy <laughs> is. Whereas WoW is a theme park. You go to this ride and that ride, but a carnival is like there are attractions here. You can go over to those stands. There's the clowns over there. There's the, the, the <laughs> whatever, the circus in the back corner. Let's see. There's, yeah. Like Let's Arkies? See. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't don't Adam. worry about Arky's. He's in his own hut over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Thanks. Flex in his... Yeah, <laughs> squatting in the background somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Noct says like the scaling in the Chromie scenario is still not done well enough, though. I, I mean, I get that. I'm just saying it's it's the solo things you can do that don't rely on everyone else, and they, they there's not a lot of that in WoW because it's like Mythic Plus. Arena raids. Yeah. Outside of that, your solo yeah. content is world quests and yeah. And obviously, you can work towards essences right now, but make essences account wide, please. But anyway, I don't. I don't even. I don't even like. We haven't played in a while mm -hmm. uh, on on uh, like current WoW, but I right. completely agree with that. Mm -hmm. it, and I feel like that's the most common thing I see on Twitter because yeah. we still have a lot of friends that play. Yeah. And the most common thing I see on Twitter is still about the the essences, and it makes me nervous to come back and play. I I think all my characters are so undergeared right now too. So it yeah, is it is back. great wow. on wow. one. It's great on one character. It's really bad on more than one. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I'm going to move us along. I don't want to cut you guys off. We have more to talk about. We have more to do. If you guys need to take a quick little break, walk around, stretch a little moment, grab a drink or something along those lines, uh, weenus battle, I'm going to talk to chat for a couple of minutes here. And then if you have any questions for Tom and Sonia or myself about Final Fantasy or World of Warcraft, I'll mix those in in this second little part of the show. But I want to make sure I give a big shout out. I don't have all the graphics and stuff here. Of course, I am in the new studio if you haven't paid attention to this. And the background is all different and it might sound a little different because I'm still working on the room acoustics but this whole situation here is made possible from your guys support over the years right so thank you everyone that has been supporting the show watching it on youtube spreading it around doing the things hitting the buttons doing the bells and whatever else have you it all helps and of course if you have not caught up on a bunch of that stuff and you're looking for the archive of course the entire archive everything is over on youtube so all the blizzcon coverage is there all the past episodes are all there of course when i do the spec and show coverage for Shadowlands beta testing coming up soon. That'll all be coagulated right there with a the post BlizzCon special, the pre BlizzCon special. It's all right there. All the side content is on YouTube. If you want to give that a sub -rusk. Uh it's, it's dying. I don't know. YouTube is a very strange monster right now, but it's all archived. It goes all the way back. There are still more playlists. If you want to go back and back and back and back and back and back and back, it goes, it goes, it goes and goes. So that's where that all sits, if case you missed it. Of course, if you missed the live show, the VODs are here on Twitch, but the YouTube cut goes up usually the day after. And then the live show audio only is on iTunes, it's on Stitcher, it's on Google Play Music, it's on my website, and it's now on Spotify. If you go to Spotify and go to search, and just search Final Boss TV, all one word, capital F, capital B, capital TV, it will pop up. And you can just add that or hit the plus button and you can have that in your Spotify playlist as well if you want to do the audio only there too. So it's all over the place if you want to listen to that. But of course, part and parcel why I wouldn't be here without... I don't have the graphic. I'll have one next month, next show. Thank you to those who are supporting the show directly on Patreon. It does go a, a whole long way. A lot of that goes to the art budget for the show. If you've seen that there was an art budget that's for all these special shows, I made some art and got that commissioned for Tom and Sonia today and I do this kind of stuff for all the different special ones too like you've seen Noble and Mike and Brutal and Panzer and all them but 
a lot of the additional sort of BTS. There's not going to be a BTS after show for this show because it's going to run just about two hours. So there's not going to be anything extra, but there are more podcasts. There are the wallpapers. we got the Mythic Ajara and the Mythic Jaina wallpaper. Everything is tagged. If it populates, there's too many damn posts on my Patreon page now. You can go through here and sort through if you would like. If you'd like to support the show that extra bit. If you want an update, the bundle of holiday stuff I'm sending out. I didn't get it all finished before I was gone for the holidays for two and a half days. So that's going out soon. It won't be in May. It'll be soon. So you'll have those, if you are at the right tier for that, of course, soon enough. But then again, another huge shout out to a lot of the gear that's in this room right now. To the key lights, to the gear sitting right there in the new system, to all the different capture card stuff, to the potential two PC setup, to Corsair and Elgato. I partnered up with Corsair earlier in 2019 and I got some special announcements coming for early January with Corsair. And uh, I don't know if I have with Elgato right now. I'll have the new green screen I can show off soon when I do some green screen streams. But uh, yeah, so Scuff Gaming just joined the Corsair family as well. But if you're looking at any bits and pieces and parts for an upcoming build or your upgrades for your current system, they did just bring out the new audio file headsets, new mice, new keyboards. I have so much Corsair stuff. I have been a huge fan of Corsair even before I became a partner, but that is all linked down below. I can get you some free standard shipping and 10% off your bits and bobs, your peripherals, not your internals. And then of course the Elgato gear that may or may not, you may not need, depending on if you need capture cards to like move a console to a different system or try to play a console on your PC. All that stuff is right there down below the stream. This is the current green screen I have. I don't know if they have the the new one on the site here. Nope, they have the wall mounted one. I have one of these, it's behind me. I can't really bring it down right now because it's way up there, but more on that soon. Thank you very much. Shout out to Corsair and Elgato for helping do all this and setting me new stuff to plop in together. The lighting on the stream today is with two of the new key lights. So it was actually kind of funny. Tom and Sonia showed me theirs compared to what I have. And they were like, how can you stand the lights in front of you like that? But I don't know. They're really nice, actually. One way over there, one behind me, one way over there. But it's all part from, from you guys from doing this. Seven years going now, almost eight. And for the last little bit, of course, if you're looking for the next spec show, I'm going to put a tweet out for the poll so you can vote on the next four. But the new patch 8.3 and the raid comes out middle and then end of January into the early February. So the show might go on like a week or two off because the players will be playing the game and figuring out stuff and getting the new essences and figuring out what works for them. We do have another rogue mage hunter warlock segment where we'll go to the last three or four specs sorry of those to sort of recap the other two specs we've already gone over and the new one of course so there's a survival hunter show on the horizon but we'll go over bm and marksman all that stuff too but that's going to go up on twitter so you can vote on the next four and then i'll go through my list and see where we're at we won't get through all of them because we might see beta starting in february march april so we'll get as far as we can with all the spec shows and then obviously beta coverage will take precedence for shadowlands coverage specifically but all right yes yeah, survival pog all right we have some silly segments tom sonny ready for silly segments yes are you sure this is this is where sonny excels tom stop playing afk Listen. arena or whatever did you is. jump into afk fun. arena yeah <laughs> i did i did yeah man I have to send you my friend code thing later because I have no idea what it is. It's like numbers and letters and all of the crap. He it's got like... me hooked. Right, now he's my... charging his phone. Yeah, so I'll put my phone over there so I can play later. Hey, it's pretty fun, all right? For like a 10 minute sit down on the couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Funny and silly segments. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So, first up, Sonia, <clears throat> can you please, because I know most of your audience, has seen this and knows of this, but mine may not. And the YouTube audience that will watch this in the future, sorry for the audio only listeners, but can you present the shirt for all to see? <laughs> the and I want shirt. the shirt. So I want you, I want to ask chat that's here live and those that are watching YouTube later, please leave a comment if you made it this far in the main video. Would you wear this shirt? And 
Is Tom a it's monster because he refuses to wear this incredible feast piece of fashion apparel? <laughs> what? I'm gonna go full I've screen never, real quick. We're gonna go full screen. I am never putting that on. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna remove your lower third actually, just so you get the whole. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta, I gotta go back with chat reactions though. Gotta. So, I mean, <laughs> so far we've got wowzers. Where could I buy it? Yes, where? How do we win this shirt? It's art. I'd wear it in public. Sorry, I keep sucking. <laughs> I'd rock that. I spent See, a lot of money on that. Too when, much. When I saw that first on your stream i said it's like the perfect shirt to wear with a casual suit jacket so it just sticks out just a little bit right yes. along here just just a yes. little bit of sonia screaming with that terrible face you know i mean beautiful face you know what yeah, just, a little, I, just a little bit i am willing to send this to final boss <laughs> see so I, that he can wear it no i told i told in Tom. my stead it told Tom if he doesn't wear it, I'm just gonna have it framed and it's gonna get hung in the office. No, no, no. I'm gonna send so. it. I'm gonna send it to Final Boss, <laughs> and I'll have Final Boss wear it. I'll, I'll wear it. another one. <laughs> no, I'll wear it on stream. I won't, I won't even bring it up. Like I'll wear it and not even talk about it for an entire broadcast. I mean, it's it's like regular shirt. I mean, I'm wearing a Florida man shirt today. I mean, come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wear it, Tom. I thought. <clears throat> I thought it was rude. He's like, that's the most hideous shirt I've ever seen. I'm like, that's my face! Rude! <laughs> that's my face! <laughs> so, I mean, you decide, chat, and of course, YouTube comments, you decide. Would you wear that shirt? You should. You say no, you're banned. Whoa, well, what? I mean... <laughs> Don't worry, there's two of us. I'll unban you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> speaking of Speaking of that kind of shirt, Send, yeah, send Tom an all-over Bayface shirt. The thing is, the new all-over Bayface shirt, which will come out early 2020, it is a thing. It actually is way more classy than the old one. So it's got the new, my new face art on it. But it's actually like a nice shirt. It's not just a print of my face all over it. So Wait, ooh. do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Can you go full screen and can you uh, make just your funniest face? Just make your funniest face. Whatever you think is funny, even if... Just whatever it is. Hmm. This sounds Anything. like bait. <laughs> Come this, on. This sounds like bait. I don't know what my funniest <laughs> face is. There you go. It's a trap. <laughs> okay, thank you. Welcome. That's all I needed. It's a trap. Don't do it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> That's what I was kind of going for. I was going with like a what face. Yeah. Uh, I'll send you something later. Oh, okay. God. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> someone heard the screenshot on the keyboard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, all right. Well, that's that's silly segment number one. We got two more. All right. <clears throat> Tom, next up, you have a oh, chance boy. to defend your honor. Can you give our audience listening right now, and then, of course, those in the future, this is for the audio-only ones, though, because there's no video required for this. Well, maybe kind of. But, uh... And because it's my show and I want this. This is what I want. Oh, God. There Can we go. you give us your best Chocobo song rendition, please? Think of the most classic version for me is like the Final Fantasy VII version. We talked about this before we went live. But um, I don't I don't know the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, hold on. I'm trying to think of how it goes. I mean, if you want to pull uh, it up and like and like hum and bop along yeah, yeah. to it, that's totally let me, fine. Let me, let me sing it a little bit so you can remember how it goes. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Okay. Because I only remember like the intro, like the first couple seconds of it. Hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. I mean, it just loops. It's like a 40-second loop, basically. The Chocobo song. Mm-hmm. The classic one I think of is from Final Fantasy VII, like I said, so... But I need I, I need this. Oh my god. Hold on, I gotta find it. Sonia's okay, bouncing to it already. Nice. What one do you have, right? <laughs> what do you want you because I can't hear it? Come on, Tom. Just do Where it. Where does it go? So when we went to this one's Twitch like Con, this just, one's you know. just tripping. Hey, that's all this song's doing. Hold on. 
You gonna chirp? No. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> well, I mean, when we went. Go what ahead. Are you saying? When we went to TwitchCon, Elgato mm -hmm. had us do this interview, and then the end of the interview, they're like, "Give us your best dance move." And Tom's oh. like, he pushed oh, me into the camera go. and. <laughs> he, he I don't get. <laughs> he was like this. And he's like, here, this is all her, and then walked off camera. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. It's like, come on. Yeah, can we get? Oh, it's like, oh, uh, uh, it's like. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to. I mean, I get it right in my head immediately. Na, 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 na. Yeah! That's, <laughs> that's, that's all a, I got. That's enough for a ringtone, maybe. So there you go, Chad. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Take it. So that's go. all I got. But yeah, Tom's just a pretty face. He's not an entertainer. I'm with <laughs> I'm with chat, too. Tom needs to do the quay. The quay or whatever the hell the, the chocobos do. Is that what the sound is? Yeah. Something like that. Quay. Yeah. Oh, oh, quay. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah, but it's also they also do like the the whoopee woo or whatever the hell too. Yeah, the high pitched one. <laughs> yeah, there it is. That's way better than what I just did. <laughs> Holy crap! See, now you know why I keep having her do this stuff. Do it. Quality Tom. content. Come on, Tom, make a right here. sound. Yeah, I just did. No, you didn't. You said que. That's <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> He's not. Hmm. <laughs> You're not tricking me into this. Okay. <laughs> All right, Sonia, you're next then. So okay. in Final Fantasy XIV, you do a lot of building, interior design, and farming, as we have very clearly made really relevant on the show today. We, we've talked about this a lot. So probably a whole lot more that transpires behind the scenes that we don't know about. I learned today that you guys apparently don't ever log out of Final Fantasy. There's no AFK boots you out of the game, so you just, you're always in. Um I'm logged in right now. Yeah, me too. There you go. But today I have a few <laughs> I have a few IRL MMO terms, sort of one from each of those three different buckets that I wanted to test your knowledge on and see if there's any crossover, or if you knew what they are beforehand, and then I'll, of course I'll tell you what they are afterwards. Okay. So uh, what does the term Heige mean? I have no idea. Or hid? It could. It's either Heige. I mean, actually, you know what? Hold on. We're gonna pull it up. Uh, right, on go. Google, uh, chat will hear this. I'm listening. Well, I mean, okay. Hugue. It's Hugue. 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 It's a Danish word. No Hugue. It's a Danish word. What does it mean? No idea. I don't know. The only thing I can think, just because the way it sounds, is like hue. I don't know. Like color. I don't know. <laughs> so in the interior. No idea. I've never in the interior design space, it's the Danish word for fun. And it is, it's like a only, it's like the blissful part of winter, the feeling you get from the first sip of hot cocoa while being snuggled under a blanket by a fireplace. It's the space that provides warmth, relaxation, coziness, and hominess despite the season. Aww. Like you just did the other day on stream. Yeah. yeah. So you Perfect. just, you just had so Hugh. <laughs> From now on, we're just gonna do that. It's like Huga, like it's amazing, like a loogie. God, this is so sweet. It's so Huga, Huga. There you go, chat. That's for you. Sounds like you're hawking a loogie. That's what I thought. Huga. It's an interior design term for a type of room. Yeah. Fun, dis fun despite the season. Yeah, cozy despite it being winter out right now. For example, yeah. Seasonal cozy. How, Got it. how about what is the function of a purlin? I don't know. It makes me think of a rug. It makes me think of a rug. Hmm. Like a, I don't know. A rug of some sort? I don't know. A little, I've little, never heard that term. A little far away from where a rug would be in a house, but a purlin. Is a horizontal beam along the length of a roof resting on the main rafter and supporting the common rafters or boards on said roof. Interesting. I've never heard of that. It's a fake mon. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so I don't uh, I don't know if there are purlins when you're designing the interior and building in Final Fantasy. I think it's just like a flat texture. 
Yeah, I've actually accidentally glitched outside of the house, and it's literally just a box. It's oh. the whole graphic for house is just a box and just space. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's an instanced box. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's it. It's crazy. So yeah. that's already in just, there already. Just so you know, uh, for anyone who's in stream that's in our free company, we just live in a cardboard box. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. So, yeah, I've never heard that term though. So it's a beam that supports major beams in the house, kind of. Is that basically what it is? So yeah, horizontal beam along the length of the roof, resting on the main rafter, which supports the common rafters. So mm, it's sort of okay. one of the main. If you look up Perlin, P-U-R-L-I-N, you'll just see a picture. You're like, oh, it's that board. You're like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's one of those things we all see it. But yeah. No, nobody knew what the name was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's a construction one. And lastly, so this is going to be the gardening question. How big is a bushel of something? Like this big. This would be a bushel. Something I can grab. I don't know. That's what I would think. When I think of a bushel, it's this much. <laughs> <laughs> like this much is a bushel. I don't know why, but that when I think of bushel. Well, Tom, yep. either... Um, She's making stuff up, or she's a very strong lady, because, I mean, overall, we, it's a unit of measurement for crops, primarily grains, but historically, a bushel was equivalent to eight gallons in volume. Dang! What? Though now Wait, it's would typically... would that be about this big? Uh, if you <laughs> can hold... Eight gallons, one, If you two. can hold eight <laughs> gallons like that, that's impressive. So now, however, it's typically equated to pounds because Americans are stupid and don't use metric. Uh, and different <laughs> different for each crop. So bushels of oats are 32 pounds. Bushels of wheat, Jeez. however, is 60 pounds. So to put yeah, that... Yeah, sounds about right. To put that into the yeah, Final you, Fantasy... You of, yeah, like it's a, like a bale of hay. Yeah. It's a bushel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> The follow-up to put that into Final Fantasy perspectives, because MMOs are insane and inventory is very funny. What is the weirdest... You looked this up before the stream, so what did you come up with? What is the weirdest stack size of something that makes no sense in Final Fantasy? Um, Like, of anything or just with gardening? Wait, I mean, gardening a lot or just whatever stack... I mean, because you could probably put stacks of mounts, which that'll be silly. Like, stacks of whales. It's ridiculous. No, yeah, um... But yeah, in, in gardening. It, in gardening, I would have to say papados. Um, you can stack them to 999. And the reason I say this is because papados are potatoes mm -hmm. in game. But papado is also a nickname for lalafels, which is a race. <laughs> and could you imagine stacking a bunch of lalafels? A thousand lalafels. <laughs> Where would you put them all? <laughs> Where are you hiding a thousand lollipops? <laughs> thousand lollipops <laughs> stacked in Sonya's inventory. New yeah. free company project. Uh oh. <laughs> I stacked them in my bag. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, if I was saying anything though, like if you're thinking the whole game mm. in general, I have a really good answer for this one too. Coke. <laughs> There's actually an item in game called Coke, and it's little granule image. In it. It's, it's a. It's a <laughs> it's something you mine up. <laughs> 999 Coke stacked up. <laughs> hmm. Monk S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can get the high quality stuff too. Yeah, you can get HQ. Yeah, and purified too. Oh yeah, purified that Coke. Too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no, it's a real it's a real thing. Like, I, yeah, chat's catching up. It's a blacksmithing thing. I get, but it's still so okay. Sure, yeah. Some people make a lot of money in the game by selling cocoa. <laughs> 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 and sometimes we have RP nights and we have our club nights at the strip club. Some baddies will come in and they'll pass coke out to people. <laughs> and then you'll see people passing out. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and like better. Mike. Like yeah. Mike. Yeah, so. <sighs> yeah, so. All right. that's, that's what happens. <laughs> A couple of rapid fire FAQ style questions for you guys then. Tom, uh, how much Perfect. did you hate, and I put in parentheses, see love being a Lala, which is appropriate for the conversation we're having right now? Oh my God. I despised it. 
<laughs> worst thing I've had to do in the game. <laughs> Hands down. It was oh, terrible. No. Well, you were so cute. Everyone loved it. I hated it. <laughs> hey, I tried voting against the Lala. Okay. I, I voted against I, it. Uh, I appreciate that. I do. Do I have any pictures of us as Lala? He was so cute. That's the one thing you hate. You, oh wait, sorry. That's what you hate. Yeah. You hated you hated being a Lala. I did hate being a Lala. I couldn't stand it. It changed the whole game for me. Right. It's really hard. The viewpoint changes. Oh, because so it probably pulls like, your camera down, right? It does. Because well, yeah. right now I play I play a, a Rogadin, mm -hmm. which is like, and I'm as tall as you can be. So I'm literally the biggest race in the game. I'm as tall as you can be. Mm -hmm. And I went to being as small as you could be. Yeah, which is it really changed weird. everything. Find the pictures, but yeah, he was he was really cute. We were really cute. <laughs> I think there had there were some on your uh in your media. I'd have to probably dig for them because I remember you posting them, and I was like, all yeah. right, that's cute, but that's also an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> it was. He was really cute. He did hate it though. He was like the most ba little Lala though. He had like the coolest big armor on. Yeah, I don't I don't know where all my pictures went from when we were doing that, but it was good. It was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, Sorry, was, you hated it. He was he was tricked, <laughs> chat. He may maybe no, and he was tricked. Yeah, no way, man. He agreed. Did Listen. he agree? <laughs> I got duped into it. You got duped into it. Uh, I'm gonna find I'm gonna find Lala Tom real quick just for uh, peace of mind. But the next question, well, oh gosh, I'm streaming through and I see the the cleavage row pictures. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's not that what I wanted to. I would rather oh, wait, that. We were about yeah. <laughs> I love that character. I would be that character forever if everyone would let me. <laughs> yeah, that was Sonya's character. <clears throat> that was Sonya's character. I would. I would be that forever. Hmm. It was around Halloween. I'm trying to go back. I'm in October right now, but I'm not seeing him. I don't know where you posted it, but next question I had was what uh, I guess this is like the overarching question. What video games have you guys been playing a bunch of right now? Uh, if it wasn't Final Fantasy, like if you didn't let Final Fantasy be the time vampire that you let it, what other <laughs> games have you been playing? <laughs> hold on, hold on. That is the best like definition of what this is. Mm -hmm. It is. Um. What What about you? Uh, I would be playing Sims, and oh, I, I, I would. Well, I'm going to be playing it next month, actually. The Goose Game. I haven't got around to playing that yet. I really want to play it because I don't know. It's just really. Hey, look! There's a picture. Oh, Tom looks scary in there. That's when he had a bald head. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like real life. Oh. <laughs> oh, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I, I would probably be playing Sims, and I would probably be, I don't know. I really don't know what else I'd be playing right now. There's not much I've been really excited about lately, <laughs> besides just playing the Goose game. I actually... Division! Yeah. Division. Division 2, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I've been wanting to get back into that. Yeah. Planet Zoo! I finished Planet Zoo, though. I did. I already did that. I sunk all my time into that when that came out. That was a good one, actually. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's all funny games until the cheetahs eat the monkeys. <laughs> I'll give you that. That okay. shot's actually pretty cute. And this one, too, when you guys are looking yeah, over the beach. Yeah, see? That's really cute. But he's very small. Small Tom. So yeah, cute. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. So cute. I'm good. Oh. I'm good. <laughs> what would you be playing? Uh, I, I'm going to have to agree with Division 2. Mm. Um... And then, uh, I mean, as far as right now, I used to really be into PUBG. I, I had like almost a just shy of a thousand hours logged into PUBG, um, but I haven't played in a while. Honestly, I would sink all my time into PUBG and I get a two. We love um, playing that. But for right now, I would probably say uh, Division 2. And I actually, but I don't play it a lot, but I do play classic a little bit off stream. Mm. Um, because there's a few people in the community that play, um, and we just kind of just mess around and and do dungeons and stuff. 
yeah. nothing serious. Yep. That's Final it. More lava pictures. That's really it. Uh, I I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest. Final Fantasy takes up that much time though, because every time I log in, there's something else that I I want to like finish doing. So, but um, I actually a couple of people recently have been talking Monster Hunter. I've never played it, but uh, I've actually been kind of interested in it. We were thinking about purchasing because it it's on sale right now. Actually, yeah, yep. I think it's like sixty percent off right now. Mm -hmm. It's on sale because a new drop comes out early next year. I think. Well, the, it's already out for console, but it takes like months for the PC version to come out. So I think it's yeah. coming out finally on PC, and that's where most people are going to play it on PC. So yeah, yeah, a couple of people on my Discord have been playing it. I mean, I basically play WoW and a lot of Destiny 2 and a lot of... Oh, I've been working through The Witcher 3 right now and the DLCs, right? I think I have Witcher 3, but I've never played it. Yeah. game is so good. They were... The, the, the Witcher Netflix show and the sale on Steam spiked Witcher 3 to nearly 100,000 people playing it all of a sudden. Wow. Wow. That's exciting. It's by Steam stats. Yeah, it, it blew up from like a few hundred, a few thousand to like almost a hundred thousand people playing Witcher 3. Because it was like, it's like $17 right now. Yeah. Have you watched the new, or the, the new show? Finished it. Is it great? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's been saying it was better than Game of Thrones. So I'm actually mm. interested. Yeah. Mm. Game of Thrones... The good seasons, right? The first, like, five seasons of Game of Thrones yeah. where it's slow and methodical and payoffs are worth it and, like, it's grueling and blue yeah. balls the hell out of you when it was live. Yeah. It's not better than that. <clears throat> Witcher okay. is good. Henry Cavill, fantastic. He's the nerd we deserve. Um, <laughs> the only problem about it is, is because the Witcher story is all take place before the first game. The Witcher stories okay. are all basically short stories. And the show has... A lot of weird continuity. So prepare yourself. It's good, but it's the biggest complaint I hear from people. It's not a spoiler. It's just that these stories just jump timelines a lot. Like just gotcha. next cut, and you're suddenly in the past 100 plus years. You don't know it. There's no gotcha. like lead into it. It's just that that's where the short stories change from like the timeline that you think you're sort of on to all of a sudden you're way in the past or you're way in the future or you're right. like a few years ago, but it's still the same characters, but it's before a certain event. So you kind of okay. piece it all together, but that's the only thing that I've heard people complain about is that. Okay. We were, but that's we how the books it, are. So. That's the books. But oh, it's okay. very good. Gotcha. So then that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, but people that maybe haven't read the books might be really confused or something. I'm sort of. There's a couple of episodes where like after you've seen all of it, it smushes together in your brain, but when you're watching, you're oh. like, where the hell am I again? But yeah. it's still Henry <laughs> Cavill, fantastic. I can't think of her name because she's new to the scene, but Yennefer, also fantastic. Uh, oh, yeah, it's good stuff. Even though the second season apparently isn't coming out until like 2021, which is sad. Oh, so we, we have plenty of time to, face. to watch it. Oh, God, it's that face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, interested yeah. in watching it, so I've been trying to talk Tom into it, to watching it's, it, so. It's good. It's very good. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, Henry Henry nails it. He really, he's really I, good. That's, that's what I've heard. Like, I, I keep hearing really good things about him as an actor, so. Yeah. So how about, this is one that's a little, little maybe a little dark, if you're going to admit it right here on, on show. Um, and I'm going to wrap this up. We have this and one more and then we'll, we'll close out here. But do you have any gaming confession, guilty pleasures? Tom and I both just brandished our AFK arena, whatever. Um, but either something you do in Final Fantasy or something you did in a game you play on the side or in a game you used to play when you look back on it and feel a little bit embarrassed that you played a lot of that game. Is there something you, is a ga confessionary gaming guilty pleasure? I don't know who wants this first. Who wants to? Tom, go first. <laughs> I guess. I guess mine. I guess mine right now is that I I play classic off stream. That's um, embarrassing. Does that embarrass you? Well, it's a guilty like pleasure. That? Yeah. It's oh, okay. A guilty, I guess guilty pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I don't play it on stream. That, mm. Like that's like my thing. You know. That's that's what I I do. You yeah. know what I mean? Um. So I that's. That's the the big one that I can think of. Mm -hmm. Is is that? Um, one of my guilty pleasures. Not recently, but there was a game called. I really like castle building games or city building games. Mm. Like, 
and I can literally never sleep playing them. I'll stay up for like 24 hours plus straight playing them. Like there's a game called Kingdoms and Castles that I spent an embarrassing amount of time on just because <laughs> I ha couldn't stop playing it. But Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> I haven't like, played it in a while. GTA O like online or just any Grand, Grand Theft Auto? Uh, 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 if I cannot think right now, uh, five, right? Yeah, it's five. Grand Theft Auto uh, four, five. The one that we just played. It's the newest one. Yeah, it's five, right? Yeah. Is that newest is in like last like five. GTA years. five GTA is GTA the one eight. online yeah. right now. Yeah. 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 So uh, I played an embarrassing amount of that, and I didn't really do anything in it. I just <laughs> you know, we, like I do in Final Fantasy. Um, we just thought about this the other day. Actually, I was th talking. I was like, "Man, I really miss playing Grand Theft Auto." Mm -hmm. um, but like, Tom would do all the cool stuff in the game and get all these cool cars and like do all these <laughs> heists and stuff. And they're like, "What did you do, Sonya?" I'm like, "I ran around in my underwear and blew people up." And <laughs> we we'll see. there was this one time we were playing it on stream, and. I was like, hey, we're all playing together. It's like 15 of us in a in a in a, the city together. Let's all wear uh like thongs and heart boxers and take a picture because it'll be funny. And then everyone <laughs> gathers in a spot and I'm like, okay, everybody smile. And then I drop a grenade and run off and everyone blows up. <laughs> she ran away and nobody noticed that she did and then <laughs> literally blew all of us up. And the whole row of cars next to us, everybody's vehicle, it was like a chain reaction. <laughs> That's all I did. I didn't do anything else. I just tried to annoy people. I feel, I feel that you're, I feel that Sonia was living out her Saints Row fantasies in the wrong game. <laughs> there was, yeah. There was no big true. purple that was in that game, okay? Well, <laughs> that's what I mean. If you want that kind of a game, just play Saints yeah. Row. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saints Saints Row was was a lot of fun. Yeah. Saints Row, what was it? Three, I think, was was my my favorite one. Mm -hmm. hmm. But yeah, one time I seen Tom playing it before I was like really I don't know, I was taking a break from video games and Tom was sitting in the computer and I'm like, I look over and he's got like a pink bunny suit on and this yeah. purple <laughs> dildo sword, and I'm like yes! What are you playing? I'm it's killing like, bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I'm taking my territory. Out of a tank. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Oh, but no. yeah, no, I, I would definitely say that that's probably been a really bit. Until, before Grand Theft Auto took a big turn and went very RP, that was my guilty pleasure. It was, was... It was really weird how that worked. Mm -hmm. It just kind of, it went from like. People doing regular things. People, again. yeah, people doing regular things to like slowly like veering off and not being a thing, and then yeah. it just went like, boom! Hey, everyone's, everyone's RPing. Yeah, and, like that's a thing now. Yeah. Uh, all right, it's I'm I'm happy for it, but it yeah. was like a weird like it just blew up all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. So let me grab one more Discord refresh here, real fast. Blip, blip, blip. We're back. We should be back. Uh, okie doke. Last little bit before some little end soapbox here. This is the most important part of this entire show. So, Tom, got any like beard tips or anything you want to help share and talk about? I've been trying to try to grow mine out. I'm just, I'm just wondering, what do you, uh, how do you maintain? So honestly, I just kind of use oil. Uh, there's a, a brand that I used to use called Gibbs, um, but I swapped over to this other stuff. Um, here, I'll link it to you actually. Oh, it's a spray. Oh, it smells like candy. Yeah, it's, it's so good. It's really, really good. Um, and like the second I spray it on, I just like brush the like brush through it. And it uh Yeah, it's it's oil. It's, it's like, like perfect. Squirt. It's not spray, it's like squirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. I'll send you I, I actually got so I totally went the the online YouTube route. I have purchased, I'm still using the one bottle I bought of Rhett's Mythical Beard Oil from Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning. Okay. Okay. Sense of sandalwood, citrus, and rosemary. Huh. I mean, who gets really? close enough to smell my beard, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. I mean, I'm going to click on yours. <laughs> click on yours, though. Let's see. So the, the, the stuff that I use, I actually, the, the barbershop that I go to, mm. they use it. 
And that's so I picked up a bottle there. Yeah, he goes to a barber like regularly now and they do like the the what is that called? The like the straight razor and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um but yeah, that's I mean that's all I use and I, I love it. It oh, smells man. so good. I oh, love it. Sonia approved. There you go. I love it. Yeah. yeah. That's the second she approved. It smells like like um like cotton candy or something. It's interesting. It's not too like too cotton candy, but it smells really good. It doesn't have any scent profile listed here on the like it doesn't have like a because like I said that the like rats mythical beard oil yeah, says it has like, like what it's sandal, but yeah. But this one doesn't yeah, say what it is. Huh. I maybe because it's just like a generic kind of like they, it's the only scent they carry, so maybe they don't have a scent on it. Or it's just under wraps because it just says on the it says it says just fragrance. Whatever they put in that is that's their their hook right there. <laughs> it smells really good it's, though. Okay, it's pretty awesome. I but I I swapped over uh, to using that um, like every day pretty yeah. much. So that's good. But I guess the the. Follow up to that one was that who has the better facial hair, Tom or Sonia? Me. She wishes she did. Oh. But she doesn't. Oh, well, man, I've... I usually have a fake beard in my drawer too, and I don't have it because we moved. Usually I'll slap that baby Good. on and people talk about my beard. Well, <laughs> she, <laughs> she did actually. We just went out to eat uh, with uh, a friend of ours. I'm going to bring and, up this picture. Uh, um, is is this a recent one? Can I? I'm gonna show this picture on stream, Sonia. This is okay. I don't care. This is what you look like off stream. It's just a five o'clock shadow, but it's really well done. <laughs> it's really well done. I'm just gonna say, crisp, <laughs> crisp razor work. <laughs> I'm just. Those cocaine eyes. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice what? the eyes. Oh, they look a little different. Okay. I see. I was looking at the beard. I was staying focused. That's what makeup does. It makes my eyes look smaller. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Those are private messages. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> closing shout outs, remarks, soapbox. If you two want to do any closing shout outs or any wondrous bits of wisdom, anything you want to rant about, to put moratoriums on, take it away, you two. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy is on sale right now. Yeah. Actually, I think off. it's I think it's 50% off right now. Oh. So if, anybody, if anybody's interested yes. in uh, trying it out, mm-hmm. now's, now's a great time. And there's a free trial. You can play it forever. Yeah, their free trial, actually, it doesn't end. And you can go to level 35. Mm-hmm. You can play all of the classes and test everything out for free. You don't have to pay a single dime. Mm. There's there no time limit. Yeah. So. Are you talking yeah. to Chad or me? Both. Both. <laughs> 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 uh, no, it's it's the game's really great. We're really happy that we made the swap. You know, who knows though? We may pop back in uh, for a while in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. When we do, uh, we did mention it. Um, we are thinking about um, redoing a uh, guild again Mm -hmm. uh, if we end up going Mm -hmm. back so um but i mean overall as far as uh ending stuff i just have fun play what you enjoy yeah and that's that's really it yeah everyone likes what they like Mm -hmm. so yeah very wise words (laughs) very (laughs) that's it wise words i like that well we've come to the point where i hit this button now Oh my goodness. They can't hear it, but I can. That's the show music. I remember to bring it over from the other PC, but thank you all for tuning in. Episode number 207, the year end 2019 special. Whole lot of back and forth about World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy 14, and some other bits. Giant purple dildos. That's standard fare. It's not a big deal. It happens around here. It's okay. But that was Tom and Sonia. They are the two halves of Enrage Gaming. <laughs> Who's the larger half? Sonia? Does she do more of the work? Oh, um, Tom? Oh, wait, on what? What about stream? Oh, about I don't stream? know. What who? are we talking about? Who, do- who does more work? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tom has a larger head, though, because he's full of himself Whoa. after working out and getting a ton of muscle. 
Whoa! <laughs> oh my Listen, gosh! Well deserved. All right, oh well God. deserved. I've been putting in work at the gym, right? This is what our stream is about, teaching you how marriage works before oh, you get yourself it's, into it. Okay. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, no, but yeah. Yeah, Tom has been doing a really good job. So yeah, he has a bigger head now. I've been I've been looking at those pictures. I mean, what? I hope yeah. so. <laughs> he walks around the house like, look at my bod. I'm like, can we not today? <laughs> can we not? Can we do something else today instead of looking at your bod? That would be great. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the reason why I wanted to come help you guys move in and unpack is because <laughs> <laughs> to look at his bod. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Well, you two have been wonderful today. Chat, you also have been been all right. Arky's was here though, so I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Mia was here. Thadrian was here. Uh, I don't know. Those are those are, those are my knuckleheads. Oh, Gorek just subscribed with a Twitch, but uh, 54 months in a row. Oh, goodness me. All right, like I said, Twitter for the next four or so spec shows, depending on when the patch gets all coagulated in there. But thank you very much for tuning in today to 207. And uh, until next week, everybody. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Wave. Wave by at the nice people. Wave. Do the thing. Do the thing. Tom, sorry. Wait, do the thing. Sonia, give him the... Okay, that works. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we got there. We've done it.